and welcome to Geek Space TV, where no one was panicking or fumbling right before the cameras went live. That would indicate that we weren't the true professionals that we are. It is wonderful to see you here. Tonight we will be playing another episode of Leviathan Distant Stars, our vaguely stars without number RPG set in space and full of no feelings, because in space, no one can hear you feel. <laughs> Appropriate. <laughs> like that. Well, you can feel feels and space. No, mm -mm. no, not feels. allowed. No, mm -mm. there's no molecules, mm -mm. so you Gosh can't. Gosh darn it! <laughs> uh, also, also, you will notice um, Dan Poslins at Dan Poslins is not currently here today because he has, you know, people in his life that he cares about more than us and wanted to spend their birthday with them. How fucking wow. dare! How dare! It's fine. It's fine. We will forgive him uh, because it's ladies' night. We'll forgive, but we won't forget. Yeah. That is important. Um, in space, no one can hear. Uh, so thank you for joining us. I have some uh, remind announcements, uh -huh. as we always do to begin with, uh, before we jump into our review and our action and our character introductions. Uh, first of all, there's the object in front of me that we're going to ooh and ah. Uh, are we ready? Oh. Wait. Ooh. Oh, shoot. Ooh. Ooh. Ah. Oh. <laughs> Response. A very kind and generous person who I was not informed to, and I actually don't That's know if we know. That's because we have no idea. An anonymous, an anonymous, kind and generous human being. I presume, possibly, you're not human. Uh, in either case, thank you for sending us this beautiful uh, G7 Linux camera uh, that gets us closer to eventually getting all of the G7 Lumix, G7 Lumix cameras that we need to upgrade our camera setup. But you'll notice the lighting. Oh dang! It's so good. <laughs> so good. Uh, we we have. I'm gonna hand you this very. Wow. No, give it to me. Throw it. No. It's fine. <laughs> I would like it as well. <laughs> uh, so we got all this sweet fancy lighting, and a lot of that is in preparation for getting. So we need approximately I don't know cameras. ten more cameras. Yeah. What, one for everybody. Yeah, one per person. Uh -huh. Then two more for here. And then some extra ones for good measure. We'll get like top down cameras going. Yeah. That's probably That's not a definitely thing. within our budget. Uh, and as if the film just no, pointed I mean, out to us. in chat, if you would like, you can also view this programming, the stream, uh, live in 360 video uh, with our sweet 360 video camera, and you can see it's who's like lurking in the background. <laughs> Uh, you can also watch and note that we have legs and uh, what? limbs. They can see like, no, they what? can't see my feet. I don't think they can see your feet, but I think they can identify that there is an under to the table, so they can oh. probably. I mean, that doesn't mean I have been legs. trying to hide my legs. Than people could see your feet. Oh! Anyway, I don't recommend doing that, actually. It, there's not. It's not. Tos. Illegal. It's, it's not, not illegal on Periscope. Tos. Uh, I learned that it's I, not illegal on Twitch either. It's not. <laughs> I just can't, it can't be the focus. But of someone your did tell me that, and I was like, "But I have a tattoo I want to show off," and they're like, mm, "Yeah, you can't do that." Like, no, it just okay. can't be the focus of your stream. Yeah. It's fine. So anyway, lessons learned. Uh, you can check us out in 360 video. Other fun information for you. Our Patreon rewards have been updated. Uh, you don't need to do anything about it, um, including regardless of whatever tier you are currently at, if you would like to stay at. Um, all of that stuff is there. If you do want to change tiers, obviously, uh, sometime before the end of the month, before all of these things truly kick into effect. Um, but you can go check those out. You can also give us some feedback if you have any. We are definitely open and receptive to it. Uh, DMs and direct messages are probably the best way of get, making sure that we actually see it. Next announcements. Wednesday, August 1st. Uh, we will, I will be, I will not be here. I, like, it says Lauren may be having a golden time at Gen Con. Um, I, I, instead of reading this in third person, I'm going to tell you that I will be at Gen Con, and I will not be here. Um, you have to read it word for word. So. Oh, no, I was all right, because I was going to make I mean, some... the uh, Lauren thing is fine, but... No, no, it's okay. I've got, I've got, a, I've got a, like, my own bit that I want to add to it, because you're going to have a super time, and I can't wait to unmask who the GM and players okay. are going to be. Ah! But here on Terra Firma, we'll be... This is the, from the announcement. We'll be wow. enjoying some bronze entertainment. <gasps> Tune in this Friday on EP Pay. EPK, Eat, Pray, Kill, to get some details. 
I already know what's Wait, going really? on. Wait, really? I don't have any idea. Did I know? Was well, it yeah, I mean, yours what's really happening? Just over the top. I mean, uh, <laughs> no, mine was amazing. Wait, is it in the Discord? Because I haven't no, been paying no, attention. No, it was like she just told you what's happening. No, I, I wait. I if, you're, if you're familiar with, she just told with, you exactly yeah. what's happening. Okay, <laughs> I don't know. I'm so 100 percent totally lost. As is Claudia, yeah, and we are the smart, we're the smart table. ones. You need to know more about role playing. <laughs> we're talking the class. <laughs> I just I am a role in fairness, professional. I didn't I didn't give away. I just gave away what might be happening. You gave away who might be there. This is not my bed. Was uh, that was that there was there a coded message in yeah. there? Yeah, yeah. I, was I want to point out there are words in italics and uh Tara is not well, spelled the way it's normal. Wait, really <laughs> really wait 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 wait. I missed that one. Uh, I watch children cartoons to understand mysteries. Um, also, Anna would like to let everyone know she wrote these funny hints with a migraine and apologizes as needed. Can I read it? I'm a better reader yeah. than a listener. <laughs> that explains this is me. how Tara Firma is spelled. Is it? Yeah. yeah. Okay, I feel like we're now giving way too many no, hints. No, it's not. Wait, it's Tara, like T-E-R-R-A? Yeah. yeah. It has one oh, R. No, it's Tara. No. I don't know how to spell this shit. This is very good. I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna Google this for you right this, this is minute. That's fine. Good. You're probably I just right. Double checked because I'm like, ah, I have a migraine. I could be wrong. No, nope. Tara. It, the Latin is two R's. Clearly, I don't pay attention to spelling. Y'all should know that. Uh, hi, everybody. We're gonna be playing Leviathan Distant Stars tonight. Uh, let's introduce our players because that seems like getting the attention away from me and my mistakes <laughs> onto someone else and their potential mistakes. So let's start with Claudia. I forgot my <laughs> bell. <laughs> yes. <laughs> what? Attention, Jane. Oh, okay. Wait, it's wait. Okay. It's Why okay. do you even Here, here, here Claudia, it. I'll ding. You okay, just point okay, at me okay, and I'll ding. Okay, okay. okay you ready? Yeah. yeah. We'll ding, ding. Give me a minute. I'll okay. Get okay, hi. Um, but my name here is to be announced. But, uh, <laughs> in the meantime, I'm playing Kika, who's our <laughs> Bat, spatty, bat engineer. Um, I, I got distracted because I realized I'm really good at solving mysteries. Number what? one mystery solver on Leviathan Distant Stars. This is going so smoothly. <laughs> I can't do this without my name. Um, I, I, I play video games sometimes, and I sew. And can I spell now? Sure. Just do okay. it. Okay. My name is Jackie Dad. J-A-K-I-D-A-S-H. Ding! Ding! Fail. I, was, I was trying to play. Ah! Ah! Okay. It was a delayed ding. It's fine. It's fine. <laughs> okay. Sometimes dings are delayed. It's fine. I can't. I can't do it without spelling first. Let's go to you next. Is it my turn? Yeah, okay. Hi everybody. I am Lizzie the Bold. Uh, you can find me at Lizzie the Bold on the Twitches and the Twitters. I am a part-time streamer, full-time forgetter to charge her electronic devices, <laughs> and uh, I am playing Ziana the captain of the Batleth, the leader of the crew, the uh, warrior of the group, the seven foot tall brick shithouse. And, <laughs> um, <laughs> um, um, and I know absolutely nothing about what's going to be happening on August 1st, nothing. <laughs> Wait, do you actually know something about Nothing, no, okay. nothing. Claudia, if you actually looked in the Discord, you would you, you <laughs> would know a stuff about we'll talk what's happening. Break. We'll talk during the break first. about the things that I don't know. We'll talk during the break. <laughs> like you wouldn't necessarily know all of it, but you would know about half of it. Okay. Who are you? Who am I? What is happening? <laughs> it's Welcome back. Hi, I'm Blue Jay. Uh, you can find me at twitch.tv slash blue jay or on Twitter at blue jay underscore seven one two. Uh, I play lots of role-playing games all the time. Um, my character is Rachel Lucas. She is a human, not scruffy looking, definitely not a, go a nerf herder. Nope. Um, yeah, that's it. Hi, I'm Sarah. You can find me on Twitch and Twitter at Shell Game. There's nothing on Twitch just yet, and I keep saying just yet because eventually, hopefully, there will be something one day. Anyway, the point is. I play Thea Brone, and she's um, she's a uh, a little bit of an asshole, if I'm really just honest. Oh, wow. <laughs> Let's be real. She really likes to make sure that uh, she is acquiring the shiniest things possible and distributing the wealth into her own account. <laughs> That's like the 
the most honest, I think, of your character introductions. Yeah, uh, you're right. Can lie be a lot. Very introspective. Thea cannot. That's true. <laughs> Thea has no feelings. She None. cares about nothing and no one. Definitely. Mm. As does everyone else on this crew. Hi, I am Random Tuesday. I will be your GM for this for this evening. As Julie said, this Legion. <laughs> I was like, wow. Wow, Lauren. Blue you Jay, we both right had the now. same reaction. <laughs> uh, <laughs> We need nothing. Dan back nothing. Here. Do we need, do we need I Dan as our like our, our Dan is our guiding light. I don't need Dan. Belly. I need what? coffee. I need more coffee. I got one coffee and I was like, I'll be fine with one coffee. It's like six thirty, and then I was Never like, enough. I should have gotten two coffee. I don't know. Let's jump into what happened last time on Leviathan Distant Stars. The crew of the Batla has been on a number of different adventures, and currently they are on what one might say is a sort of final leg, as if you went through that part in an RPG session where it said, or mission, where it's like you can't go back to any other side quests. This is the part where you might die. Uh, anyway, so they're there now, and they are seeking out a lab in a distant sector of space, specifically a sector of space where these massive giant alien monsters have come from known as the Rays, hellbent on destroying the galaxy as we know it. Once they get to this lab that they're looking for, the hope is that there will be some sort of weapon or piece of information that they can use to stop and or destroy the rays and prevent them from, you know, wanton destruction of the entire known galaxy. They are currently aboard a living ship known as Sarin, uh, this ship being what the rays in many ways what once were before um, the Promesans, the aliens that genetically engineered them and then regretted their decisions. So the crew uh, last time finally made their way into the sector, uh, the Promesan sector of space, and ended up encountering a couple of, uh, at least one raised ship and some small scout drones uh, that were searching the system. Specifically, this is not the system that the lab is in, but is the closest system to their sector of space, at least when you are using thread space travel, which is sort of weird and loosey-goosey and time and space are all relative, as they say. Having dispatched quite effectively the four drones that were after them, uh, the crew of the Batleth is now uh, currently still aboard Sarin, taking a um, momentary breather while they still allow Ari to continue her searching for the destination, for the directions, essentially for the map to get them to the lab uh, mm. where she is from. Tangentially, where Sarin is from. Uh, so we will reconvene the crew. I believe everyone is somewhere on Sarin. Kika is uh, somewhere down in roughly the equivalent of the engines. Uh, Thea and Rachel are aboard the bridge, uh -huh. or the helm. And uh, Ziana was there as well. Yes. Um, so shortly after uh, the ships, uh, the drone ships are dispatched, uh, Conrad kind of falls into just a slight coma having recently <laughs> injected himself with some pretty intense <laughs> drugs because he has an implant that he doesn't have control over um, or complete control over. He has some control over it. Uh, I have some control over it as well. It's great. <laughs> uh, so he sort of has this moment where he kind of looks up and he's like, whoa. And then he just sort of slumps over on one of the consoles and begins <laughs> snoring loudly. Uh, he is probably then taken by someone somewhere, but maybe not. Uh, I don't know I don't know what people would choose to do with Conrad. Put him in the copulation cube. Wait, 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 Does wait, you wait, have wait. To lift How do him you solve a problem like Conrad? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Space him. I'm going to use my significant <laughs> strength okay. to lift his puny body and to call him to the copulation cube. Uh, he sort of mumbles a lot as he's on the way there. You hear things about like how space is Space is big. You're big. You're space, Sienna. <laughs> yes. Yes, I am, Conrad. <laughs> Pause for reference. Is this a one shoulder over the shoulder while climbing up the ladder? No, she holds him like, like, like. Oh, she carries Aww. him like a tiny baby. Yeah, like a tiny baby. He is a tiny baby man, and she carries him like a tiny baby. <laughs> uh, <laughs> this is what you get for not being here, Dan. <laughs> oh wait, I would like to remind all of our donors that their donations need to be in the forms of advertisements. Oh, that was so that. good. It was pretty great. It's it not awesome. a requirement, but it is. But, it is. But it would tickle us. It's a requirement. <laughs> It's a requirement for blue. Hmm. Hmm. Uh, so, 
Uh, as he as he slumps over, Ziana kind of scoops him up and he like s- snuggles in a little bit and he's like makes a lot of very inane comments about space and the size of the galaxy. And uh, is he things... calling you fat? No, he's calling no. me very large and muscular. I think it's and it, tall. In... I am significantly bigger than he is. Yeah. Sig- she's like seven foot, and he's at least a foot shorter like, than her. Like, at least five no, feet. No, I, I understand. Very, I was just like, making no, I, know. <laughs> <laughs> I just took the opening to skewer Conrad more. I, he's very small. He's a small boy. Tiny, he's tiny. Small, small man. Tiny, tiny best boy. boy. I think uh, Thea would, oh. Uh, Thea would probably, like, wait for a little while, and then she would, um, at some point later, she would just sort of swing by the copulation cube and just, like, kind of check and but then keep going. She wouldn't wake him or anything like that. She wouldn't even <laughs> tell anyone. He's like stuck in his thumb or something. I don't know. It seems like the thing Conrad might do when he's really high. Yeah. Totally. Mm-hmm. When he's not really high. <laughs> when he's not really high. It's a, it's a comfort thing, you know? Yeah. Now some people just don't quite grow out of it. I would like to take the opportunity to um, talk to, I always forget her name. Ari. Ari. You can just write it down. It's, was, R, it's A-R-Y. It's three letters. For some reason, I always think like Arya, so I, I'm on the I right track. I mean, her track. full name is Aryuta. She would respond to Arya too. Okay. Um, I I take the opportunity to talk to Arya about uh, what the new like connection to the ship means and does. Mm-hmm. Uh, so she is Ari is going to continue to be distracted as um, as all of you are kind of moving around, and it's it's clear that the ship um, is out of immediate danger and is currently tucked away behind one of the, the moons on one of the gas giants in the system. Uh, she sort of turns to the group as Conrad slumps over and just very quickly says, like, I haven't found it yet. I still need to look. Um, keep us out of danger if you can. I'm going to be somewhat distracted. This is more complicated than I thought. Oh, oh. Yeah, I'll, um, later. So I think before Thea would have left to go randomly happen upon the cargo bay where the copulation mm. cube is and just randomly happen to go up the ladder and back down it. Um, before it, all of those random things mm. happen. Complete then, random happenstance. Complete random. Yeah. It's not a major thoroughfare. Yeah, it's funny how often people need to climb ladders. It's a good physical exercise mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, and great for reaching hard to reach places and other, anyway. So, uh, before she does that, I think she would, after hearing that, she would have worked on the comms a little bit, just to, like, make sure that there was no other sounds, like, nothing else mm-hmm. being picked up in the area. Um, go ahead and give me a quick program and intelligence, then, with plus two. Okay. It's really nice when something else does half the work for you. <laughs> or some of the work for you. The ship's doing half the work for her? Not half. It's not half, two. but the ship does part of it. So the ship, because Sarin is alive, um, kind of actually now like Oksana can per- can assist you and perform some of the functions on oh, the Bat Lab oh. as well. Uh, having essentially two people working gives you some help. Fifteen. Okay. Uh, you immediately like check the comms and send out as far of a signal as you can, um, searching as as wide as you can. From what you can tell, the moon that you're kind of tucked behind seems to be shielding you somewhat, uh, so anything would need to enter visual range, essentially kind of like tuck around. It's going to block a lot of sensors where you are, which does, on the flip side, make it a little bit harder for you to detect anything that is on the other side of it. Um, and you kind of manage to set up sort of a, a like, keeping yourself in between uh, the ship and where you know the other scouts were. Uh, from what you can tell, there is definitely still that one larger ship that's there that sent the drones, and uh, it hasn't seemed to move from the location that it was in before. Um, and as you spend a little bit more time looking, it definitely appears that there's more ships there. Uh, none of them appear to be moving. Um, there's a couple of other scouts, but they don't seem to be uh, those sort of drones, but they, they, they're they very much at the periphery of your sensory range, uh, or the sensor range, and the other kind of larger ships seem to be stationary right now. Well, seems like we're set for a little while. Mm. And Ari just sort of makes like a, oh, okay. And very clearly just this like, you see she's working with and you kind of make out there's almost like a projection of um, a a map, but it looks very strange. It's nothing like you've seen before. 
um, if you spend a little bit of time kind of just looking at it, it almost seems like someone's trying to represent um, thread space mm -hmm. in a three dimension, in a model, mm. which is like trying to represent a multi-dimensional space that is constantly changing. Great, yeah. Um, if Ari's like distracted and can't really like talk to me right now, I guess I would like probably go back to the bat left because Yana and Conrad and whatever you eventually are also going back now that the situation is like calmed down and um, in my quarters I guess I would like kind of test the new like mental connections like see if I can like open up one like just to one person and then like shut it down not like saying anything but you might like register that like the door that was closed is open and then like they hear the meep again. meep and then they hear silence oh d so here's a big question mm -hmm. we hear the meep meep because we have created this system in our brains as a knock knock yeah. Because we have BP. Wait, wait. But, like, no, it is, like, canon that we have <laughs> developed this way to communicate each other. Hey, wait. I think we might be in disagreement about what canon is. <laughs> <laughs> Are you saying that Kika has all of this time been literally saying, meet me? Before? Yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. 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 You are the only two that have ever been doing that. Uh, every, like, Ziana, I'm pretty no, 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 no. sure. Ziana didn't do it, but now I'm retroactively deciding after a while she was just fucking worn down, and just now she meet me. Yes. yes! Yeah, no, it's, it's yeah. You, you wear her down. It is being polite, yeah. and before you enter someone's brain, you're like, meet me, come in. in. Yep. And then you you're just, just come in. Game, you that's discuss fine too. whatever you're going to discuss. You could do like a get a Conrad. No, no, no. Uh, meet me. With no one's name, so no one knows you're calling them. <laughs> well, if your brain is open, you can hear it. If, if like, like, meet me. Oh, it's time to listen. It's like um, an intercom when we're all in a high school and the principal's talking right now. So talk louder. So uh, for Rachel, it's like the intercom when you're in high school, except for you suddenly hear the like. <laughs> of like the line being open, but no one's talking. And then it shuts. And she's just kind of like testing like, who can I reach out to? Like, can I have a connection with just one person? Can I have it with two people? Can I have it with the ship? So you're, uh, as, as Rachel kind of sits there and tries this out, like the easy part is, is single connections, like super easy. You can reach out to like one person and everyone's got like a little bit of a different static uh, yeah. sort of feeling you can be pretty clear of who it is. Um, you can reach out to Ari uh, and any of the other crew, the Akika, Ziana, Conrad. Mm -hmm. um, like Conrad's right now, you just hear like the sound of snoring. Um, <laughs> and you can kind of reach out to Sarin. It's sort of similar to what you experienced before. With it. There's, there's no real understanding uh, beyond like a sort of like a sort of omnipresent mood, like this this overall feeling. There's no like language or words that mm -hmm. really come with it. Um, but you can make a, a direct connection through Sarin without, with sort of, yeah, kind of, it's like sharing an emotional state. It's more like empathy as opposed to telepathy. Okay, and I think that like after she kind of just like exhausts her, her mental energy for that, she kind of just like leaves the line open between her and Sarin and then like meditates with that for a bit, yeah. probably. It's a very, it's a very meditative, like unless something has gone wrong with Sarin, like it's just a, it's a big space whale. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Except not Kika making <laughs> Um, so some time passes, and I roll for Ari. Um, <laughs> and does anyone do anything in particular as you are kind of in this holding pattern? How many days is it? Is it a couple hours? We're, yeah, we're looking in like an hour, sort of in like the hour spectrum right now. Uh, Ziana preps vac suits and sharpens weapons and readies herself for the coming bad battle. Yes. Uh, I make sure Sarin is well fed. Um, by, by, well, is there a fuel tank gauge I could check? Yeah, do you want to see how hungry Sarin is? Yeah, I do. How full is your tummy? Uh, I'm going to reach out and be like, like okay. Mm. Give me, oh. Mm. Yeah. Oh, shoot. Okay. 
How so, fussy. I work how, with children. How fussy is this whale right now? <laughs> um, then give me a no end intelligence. This is 2d6 because we're still using uh, stars without numbers. Wait, yes. Stars. Is that the name of the game? Stars without number. Oh, uh, you can add plus two to this. Oh, because I because I know about children. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's a one. Um, <laughs> that die messes that me up every time nine. I see it because normally the designs like on the six. Eleven. Sure. Wow. Even with a one, yeah. that's impressive. Yeah. Um, you sort of like kind of go into the engine and you realize like there's no fuel gauge. Like it's not what you're used to. Yeah. Like you're used to going in and you see the mechanical portions. Like there's the upgrades to the ship. There's the whole thread drive that was installed. Um, all of it, again, kind of cybernetically attached. Um, there is uh, like sort of boost components to the um, the regular subspace, uh, the within system drives and all of those sorts of things. Um, and you're like, okay, none of this is useful to me. I don't understand. I, you don't, really don't really understand how to like there's no fuel gauge. Um, and you remember that one time that you watched Sarin functionally eat. Yeah, uh, opened, which they, they, they opened up their, yes, their, their they, back. They essentially have they... like a, a, a frill on the back um, mm -hmm. that functions a little bit like you would imagine like baleen, uh, that sort of filter feeds out specifically a tritium uh, hydrogen three from nebulae. Yeah. And that serves as their main fuel source. Um, and then they also, uh, then they can process that through into essentially the fuel that they need. And as you as you sort of sit there, Kika, and like reach out, your stomach just goes like blah, 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 and you feel like this deep pit of hunger. Like you are like, I am real hungry, and you feel like kind of cranky and a little bit tired, and it like passes over you, and it's gone. Hangry. 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 I think he gets a like, am I hungry? Did I? No. And like, there's like amino sicko, you know, no. Like, just unpeeling it anyways, and just doing it. Like, I'm not hungry. As she <laughs> I like that we've now, that amino sicko must be peeled. Well, the wrapper. Yeah. There's a wrapper. Oh, oh, I see. Yeah. 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 Okay, yeah. okay. <laughs> did she just find a meat stick up? She always uh, carries one. Okay, you were carrying travel, one. I was gonna be like, did ones. you? No, they're like they're like this. They're like six inches long, and she carries a couple. As of opposed them. to the full size ones, yeah. which are like, the, the full like ones a are like an inch a, a foot and a half. Sorry, meters. <laughs> what? Yeah, they've always. Done, wait, I'm sorry. You guys didn't know that. <laughs> I, I, that. I just want to be clear. If a full size, a full size meat stick up. A full size meat stick up is a meter. No, no, no. Okay. a half. What okay. is that in meters? It's a half meter because half I was like, a full, otherwise, a full size beta sticko is the size of Kika. Okay. <laughs> what carnival shenanigans is this? Um, uh, and then after after devouring uh, the travel size beta sticko, which was the flavor of boysenberry, which Kika's pretty sure is not a flavor. Um, yeah. Okay. Mm. Uh, meep meep to Ari. There's it's, kind of like a like a little stuff. bit of static, and then like uh, uh yes, what? Your ship is um, no, that's not right. Sarin is hungry. You're not connecting. Um, Are you hungry? And then there's like another like pause and like, oh oh oh, you're right. Oh dear. Um, well there, okay. I'll find a nebula after I find the lab. Are you hungry? Probably. I don't okay. know. I'm busy right now. Well, okay, Ari. What? <laughs> Take a moment. I can't. Yes, you can. The universe has waited over three centuries. I'm pretty sure it can wait another day. <laughs> it has not been 300 years, but that's fine. <laughs> <laughs> she sort of like pauses when you say three centuries. Like, do you measure centuries different than I do? Uh, if, okay. The longer I wait to find this map, mm. the longer we're in the system yeah. with the race. Look, the Rays is gonna find us regardless. Let's get, uh, you know what? It's fine, I'll bring you a smoothie and it, there'll be a straw. Uh, okay, okay, um, bring me whatever, yeah. uh, it's fine, yeah. uh, it's fine. Oh my God, don't let Kika, Kika bring you food. He could have had a Kika smoothie since last I just, season. I really, you guys, I really want a fan art of Kika carrying a great big smoothie over to our here. Well, like a yard, one of those yard it's drinks. Like one of the yard drinks. <laughs> Why is everything the size of Kika? <laughs> That's how For those who don't know, Kika board. is exactly a meter tall. Mm -hmm. Somebody else is 99 centimeters who will not be named at this table. Lion boy. 
Lionel? You just did that. No, you that's... just named them. Technically, she didn't name him. She just referenced him esoterically. And so I get okay. a bunch of powders together, mix so it with some artificial water. Do you go to the water. kitchen on the battle? Artificial yeah. water. Canteen. Yeah. Uh, give me a wisdom and perception. Or wisdom and notice. Mm. For the kitchen? Yep. What's going on? You know what? I'm still rocking it. 12. The, uh, you were, you remember, uh, Kika, you were, definitely took point on making sure that the kitchen canteen on the Batlack was well stocked. Yeah. Um, and specifically then, with Mito Stickos uh, and vanilla uh, flavored Mito uh, Stickos. And, and mango. I, and mango flavored yes. Mito Stickos. Um, and, you know, just, just well stocked with all of the necessities that you would need for like a substantially long trip. There are fewer supplies than you have, would it have expected for the amount of time that you have been in transit. <gasps> Oksana, me, oh sorry, beep beep. Yes, Kika. You know you don't have to stay beep beep. You can just say something like, Kika to Oksana. Oksana, can I'm... you hear me? Oksana, it's, it's me, Kika. Are you there, Oksana? <laughs> Are you there, Oksana? It's um, me, Kika. <laughs> bring it up in our next uh, Batleth training session. Uh, you list... have training sessions since when? Oh, they... When's the last time we had a calendar? Because I wrote it on I the have not updated the calendar since Tridium Year 7.331. Aren't yeah. we in point eight something? <laughs> You're in like eight point something. <laughs> yeah. That was even Did we that was off like the first training? I believe that was, was it like before Oksana, being... before Ziana purchased this ship. Oh. Well, let's update that calendar. Updating um, the calendar. Great. Uh, <laughs> the reason why I asked is we didn't lose, we didn't have one of those weird everyone falls asleep but time still goes and it doesn't affect AI things, right? What? Like I have it's... noticed no passage of time that appears to be abnormal. Huh. What is wrong, Kika? Huh. Has anyone eaten more than their share? Do we have a run... Do we have a runaway on board? Would you like me to assess the number of life signs aboard the bat left? Yes. Don't include the egg. Ah, the egg. There are currently seven life signs aboard the bat left. Okay. Me? Ziana? Ziana is not current. Where is Ziana right now? Who's currently where, actually? <laughs> okay. I'm on the bat left. Okay. Rachel's uh, on the battle. Yeah, Kika's on the battle. Uh, Ziana and Theo and Conrad. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's all. Wait. It's that's it's five. Did you count you? I am not a life sign. And you said not the egg. I did not include the egg in my calculations. There are now eight life signs aboard the bat left. Not the egg. The egg is not included. Okay. How many fingers does Kika have? Six. <laughs> Six. <laughs> Is she using toes at this point? Uh, okay. Are these life signs bigger or smaller than me? Three of the life signs are smaller than you, as far as I can tell. They are incredibly simple life signs. I wasn't sure if I should count them. Yeah, okay. I think this may have something to do with Conrad. Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna get him a fucking collar for one of those things. <laughs> oh, it's real clean. I'm, Kika would figure this out. Yeah, yes, Kika is. What's, like, what's your intelligence? Just raw. Oh, like, my the intelligence number. is a lot. Oh, 16. Yes. Kika figures this out. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's Kika it's puts slurps. two and two together that Conrad brought aboard a organism that is designed to consume waste organic material. And he fed it Migo Stickos in an attempt to train it. <laughs> he trained it to eat Migo Stickos. Yes. All right. Uh, this incredibly simple, unintelligent creature now believes that Migo Stickos are wasted organic material. I'm just I mean, glad they kind of are. 
Oh, when you're is. starving later, <laughs> the pina colada, you know, the, pina the vanilla flavored, just not plain gonna, old not vanilla gonna, not flavored Mito Sticko, you're going to eat it and you're going to think, no. this isn't meat. Even the but bacon. I wish it was. <laughs> was there even the, the limited edition bacon <laughs> quantity that I got wrapped up in the back to for Leona's birthday? Uh, no, that has not been consumed. Okay. Don't tell uh, me, though. It would, oh, you would notice, Kika, that like the only parts that have been consumed was anything that was uh, was left out in the open. Um, and there is very clearly like undigested wrappers uh, because they can't digest the wrappers. So they just sort of like ate that ears. Open. It's not organic material. Mm. Um, so they, they like literally, they're mites. They like consume the equivalent of dead skin cells on Sarin. <laughs> Do with that you know later. what you don't want is a bunch of dead skin cells sloughing off on the inside of a ship where and, people live. And then, so he looks, I'll deal with that later. Makes a smoothie <coughs> out of powders. I steal one of the fruit cans that you brought. Is right. there, do we have any more fourth vegetable? No, sorry. You have third vegetable? Yeah, yeah, you've got fruit, third. Fourth vegetable. Third vegetable? The, the only thing that has been consumed is Mito Stickos. Great, I'm gonna pop some third vegetable in there. We're gonna blend that all up and I'll take that down. That's disgusting. Uh, they excuse can't afford me. first or second vegetable. Gail's delicious vegetables don't even know. Gail? What? <laughs> Is that like space green kale? Green kale? As opposed, as opposed to, to non-green kale? As a, well, there is purple <laughs> kale, so... And I imagine in this in world... In the future... Purple kale is the default kale. <laughs> and the rest is just gale. They can't call it kale. <laughs> that's trademarked. That's trademarked. In the future, that's right. Someone trademarked a plant. I mean, it's, I, it's not too it's, distant. I'm not future. surprised. It's, <laughs> it's genome has been trademarked. Yes. Yeah. Mm. Mm. Which is Which is why you can get off-brand kale, happening. which is gale. gale. Um, but yeah, there is something that is liquid that has nutrients in it. That definitely has been made with those things. And I take that to Arnie. With a straw. Is it a biodegradable straw? No. It's an edible straw. Yeah. I don't actually know. I feel like I feel like everything has to be Is it a Twizzler? (gasps) I think we can afford Twizzlers. (laughs) But it is it is it is something for drinking. Oh, you! It's one of those tubes that you squeeze and it like goes in your mouth. Pack. Yeah, a squeeze pack. Um, when you arrive, she's still kind of got the the same sort of thing in front of you. You, if, if you spend a little bit of time looking at it, you can see like there are points that appear to be highlighted can she on see it. That? No. Oh no, she actually is. You're right. She has I have no, no idea. idea. Um, I you have no idea what I was doing. Room. She's standing in a room, um, and and she kind of jumps like a, starts a little bit when you approach her. Like, oh, sorry, I um doesn't like look and like grabs whatever it is and like takes a scoop. Mm. That is a flavor. <laughs> <clears throat> what? I never mind. Head cannon, Rico don't actually have taste buds. Uh, it's they different probably than yours. very different taste buds. Yeah. Uh, thank you for that. Um, yes, thank you. What? You decide. Seren needs to eat. You need to sleep. Yes. I can't eat in this system. Seren can't. There's no concentrations large enough. What about the gas giant? Well, wait. Mm, I can't work. What do you mean? Like, Seren needs to eat. Seren is a young, growing, like... Did you, you can call it a pup. That's fine. You can yeah. call it a pup. This is a stage of growth. If you inhibit it, it's going to be small. So, <sighs> I understand that you are, you are, and she like stops. I understand that you're trying to help. Turns and faces you. I will do everything I can. You don't think I am not aware. I, maybe that's why I'm upset, probably explains that. Look, uh, we can see if maybe one of the gas giants in the system might have enough hydrogen-3, but we're exposing ourselves if we do that. Right now we're safe, barely. If 
we leave where we are currently in this system, we risk the other rays finding us. The safest thing to do is to make the jump to the lab or find a nebula on the way. Can I help? Do you know how to understand like the chemical composition of planetary bodies? I can listen good. <laughs> if you want to see if there is anything within a non-thread range that Sarin can feed from, that would be helpful, yes. Okay, I will. You or anyone else on the bat left? Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, I'll, yeah, I can, I can do that. I can get help. Um, cool. Sorry, I, I don't mean to yell at any of you. I'm just, squeeze, it's, there's, you squeeze the, mm, it's like, we're, <laughs> just like, like squeeze the bottom. Like, it's, just like, <laughs> it's a flavor, still. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. For taking care of us. Is Conrad okay? Yeah. He just sort of fell over. Have you ever been to college? What, um, Is our university... What it's it's the drug time. Just let him have his drug time. <laughs> Wait, this is a time in the life of humans where all you they do just, is consume they, they, drugs? They, no, no, no. So they all got hormones. So the hormones are just, they have to do new things, like so touch each other's bodies. So they copulate and consume drugs. Yes. <laughs> that is all they do and for consume a drugs. period of years. Yes. Humans are strange. Oh, yeah. That's why, yeah. How have they survived for this long? There's a lot of them. I thought the Promesans had made a world-ending mistake. No. I love how Kika's only experience with humans have been two teenagers. <laughs> <laughs> and two, like, maladjusted teenagers. Well, I mean, so I know that Kika was a spirate for a yeah. while, right? Yeah. And then after she stopped being, so you hung around spirates. Yeah. And oh, then yeah. after she stopped being a spirate, she was with Thea and then oh. with us. I can't imagine uh, how being was, with Thea would cause so, you that. So, yeah, I, I imagine there's a number of ways that your view of humans is a little bit screwed up. I did work with Tarko for a couple of years. Tarko is a human? Tarko no. is a Trico. Oh. <laughs> but he is a business Trico. So, he does law. A business it's pretty much trico. the same. So, okay. Okay, um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go get help. Thank you. Yeah. Um, and she reaches up like, Close I like just like slowly tries to close her eyes. I am okay. I need to use those. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go now. And uh, she turns around. Uh, Ziana, is there anything you were doing in this time? Uh, Kika, do you tell anyone other yeah. than Oksana about the missing food? Oh no, that's not important. I do tell okay. I do tell Thea to go help Oksana or or Yuta. You what? Are you needs your your vast knowledge of brains? Wait, no, wait. Your vast brain of knowledge. Okay. She needs to, you to help her understand maps or star maps or planet composition. I can't see through Sarin. Thea starts climbing down from the copulation cube. Whatever. I'm on my way. Mm. I was just you know wandering the ship anyway, so it doesn't matter. If you do a good job, we'll make you a smoothie. Meh. Ziana was in the cargo bay, uh, readying everybody's vac suits, checking things. Re really, she's prepping, but it's busy work. And uh, when Thea comes down the ladder from the copulation cube, Ziana glances up. Just check. Just Ziana turns back to the uh, vac suits. <laughs> Resumes her work. <laughs> Gonna help our, our, uh, Yuta. Thea leaves quickly. That's it. That's what Ziana's doing. <laughs> Beautiful. <laughs> um, at some point, Kika, Oksana will just wait. Kika, are you going to inform anyone? No what? The missing food. Oh! I understand that... I got it. It's cool. organics it. need to consume this. Uh... Meet me to everyone in contact. Uh, or uh, reply all, I guess, to every email that we ever had. Oh, God. <laughs> yes. 
Um, oh no. This is hell. We're losing food. <laughs> stop you, eating it. You, um, you, wait, what do you mean stop eating the can food? Can you be quiet, please? Okay, maybe, okay, maybe like eat half of the amount because I guess we have three, three Slurpees that are living with us now. What are you talking about? Why? Of course we're going through food. We're eating food. Mm. Oh. What is Slurpees? Oh, um, there is this, um, Wait. Isn't that... You see one just, like, sliding <laughs> across the wall in the cargo bay, leaving this, like, clean streak behind it, and then it drops a Mito stick out wrapper. <laughs> are they eating food, or are they eating those disgusting meat-like sticks you enjoy? Don't that be That is food. <laughs> that is food. Uh, How many of them are on the ship? Uh, Oksana. Ask her. <laughs> there are currently three Slurpees aboard the ship. I believe Conrad continued to bring them on. I was so enjoying <laughs> having things being so clean. Of course, nothing golden can last. I mean, if they're only eating the Mito stickers, we should still be fine. We will starve. We eat lots of food. Mimi, urgent question. How many pina coladas do we have left? <gasps> scuttle, scuttle, scuttle. You just hear it like in your brains, the echo? <laughs> oh God, can you not? Oh, I was... <laughs> I rolled to see what, uh, if there is, yeah, the whole box that you left out was pina colada. <gasps> no! No! Okay, we, maybe, like, we need to actually close cabinets. Slam, 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 slam. slam. Like, maybe, <laughs> we need to get those off the ship now. We cannot have any more Mito Stickles lost. I mean, actually, really, what's the point after this? They were a limited edition flavor. Uh, let's, let's not, let's not be too hasty. We can maybe keep one of them for some general cleaning. Not be too hasty. <laughs> and we lost the pina colada Mito stickers. We can lock away the other I Mito stickers. Just stickos. drop out of the yeah, collar. Yeah, no, there's, <laughs> there's like, like after you guys are like starting to panic. After she's always been like, it's fine. They're gross. Like she's like, all right. This isn't about me. Please remove me from this thread. Yeah. Please stop. <laughs> just get... Rachel has left the conversation. <laughs> and it's like she probably like like she before we left like she she just brought on like enough soylent. Yeah, that's it's a just, lot of. Money. It's a lot, but it's also probably like Ew. some freeze dried disgusting like version. It's it's just nutrients. Oh, no, I got a Mito Sticko is nutrients plus some flavor, and you chew and it, which makes it better. Form. It's and chewing, actually all the same stuff. Chewing makes it better. It's also brand name. You're welcome. Yeah, it's Mito not Sticko TM. It, well, it's named brand in the in the way that, like, in real life, those bag cereals are named brand. <laughs> like, it is brand, and it has a name. Like, oh, yeah. 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 Um, okay. <laughs> So we have For the remainder of the time, <laughs> <laughs> number one priority, locking up all the remaining Mito stickos. Yeah. Number two priority, yes. Yeah. Number two priority, ejecting two, not three, just two, okay. <laughs> <laughs> of the little the little dudes because she has never had a, such a clean ship, and honestly, it just it's re it's been really nice. It's been really Aww. nice. The awkward part is they're not, like, they're not, they don't clean in a pattern. They yeah. just sort of no, it's go. Okay. And so there's just, like, trails of, like, clean marks across the walls. That's okay. Eventually, the Roomba <laughs> will get everything. Yeah. 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 I mean, it'll it take longer with one of them than it would have with three. Mmm. <laughs> but they're less likely to eat all of my Mito Stickos. I mean, if, if kept, they can get into the lot, uh, someone kept no, no, no. Things put away. I know my crew. <laughs> <laughs> they won't stay put away. There's a reason it was the pina colada box that was left out and yeah. opened. No, 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 no. They won't stay put away. So I, let's just minimize the potential for damage. We know we can't eliminate it entirely. We're just okay. gonna we're gonna preventative measures. Uh, so. Uh, the two of you eventually round up the two Slurpees. It takes a while to find the second one. One was in the cargo bay, and the other one was probably, like, in the engine at this point. No, uh, no, no, no. no. Uh, so Kika goes in after it. Can you pull me out? With, pull my feet. Pull my feet. Pull my feet. I got it. I got it. Pull my feet. Pull me. Pull me out. Pull me out. Pull me out. <laughs> uh, and the last one is, like, crawling over Conrad in the copulation yeah. cube. That's Gross. fine. It's good. That room needs a lot of cleaning. 
Uh, so you you pick those up. Thea, do you head over to help Ari? Yeah. Okay. Um, after I calm myself down from the Mito Sticko crisis, obviously it's a crisis. It is. It's extremely important. Yeah. A pina colorisis. A pina colorisis. Yes. That sounds that's, like a. That sounds a that little. Sounds like an STD. It does. It does. Do you have a case of the colorisis? <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> uh, uh, oh, so I think she just walks in and she's like, "Hey, I hear you need help." Uh, uh, yes. Um, so I'm almost there. I'm. So, I'm so. So close. This last part, the memories are uncomfortable. But um, if you can look for a source of hydrogen three within this system, if we can find a way to get to that before we have to jump to thread space, that would be very helpful. Okay. Do I, um, it's 10 without any sort of boost. Uh, you oh, have wow. the boost, so you still pass either way. Sweet. Um, as you are, uh, so you kind of head to the helm, you sort of see like Ari's, Ari's face does not look pleased at this point. Um, there's like, there is some sort of distress, but you kind of put that to the side um, and head to the console and, and reaching out with the system uh, and the sensory, sensor, the sensory sensors. That's how you say that. Uh, you kind of, you find the first part is the gas giant that you're next to doesn't appear, at least on the surface levels, to have a significant amount of hydrogen three. Um, but there is a second gas giant in the system. Actually, there may have been a third. Uh, one of the gas giants appears to be where the scout, uh, the raised ships are relatively close to it. Um, but from what you can tell, there is a, a pretty significant amount of hydrogen three just on the surface level of that planet, which would also probably explain why the raised ships are relatively close to that. Um, I'm gonna fall off the table, but that's fine. And the other gas giant, um, it's not quite at the surface level, but you think uh, you would probably be able to access it. Um, at the third gas giant, there is enough hydrogen three. Um, it's not quite as good of a source, which is probably why the scout ships and the raised ships aren't using that as much. Um, you pick up something interesting though on the sensors and you're not, uh, you personally don't recognize what it is, but there, it does come with a uh, warning flag on it. Something on the sensors that I don't recognize what it is, but it has like a warning indicator? Yeah. Can I um, find out more about what that warning indicator is? Yes, you can. And you actually have been studying um, the Promethean language. Yes. Um, so you you are able to read the word. Um, it's a, It says Nidaria, but that doesn't, like, you don't know what that means yet. So you can, like, go through the system and pull out that information. Um, this one will be pretty easy. So again, with the plus two, uh, roll programming intelligence. Uh, 10 before I add anything to it. Okay. God. Uh, you're on a roll, which is good. Uh, no pun intended. <laughs> you, uh, you pull up the information, uh, Nidaria Bloom. And there's a little bit of basic information about it. All of it comes up with a warning that these are essentially um, creatures that uh, are known to exist in con where there are concentrations of hydrogen three. Um, and for very large ships, they're not particularly problematic, but for smaller or younger leviathans, uh, if there is a bloom, a large swarm of them, it can overwhelm the systems. Oh. Uh, if they get trapped by it. Uh, the closest equivalent for humans would essentially be be stuck in a jellyfish bloom. And um, do I have any sense of whether or not uh, Sirin is too young to be able to handle one of these blooms? It's a risk. So from what you can tell from reading it, essentially, you if you um, so the com what you pick up is uh, yes, if Sirin gets trapped in the bloom, it would be a risk. Um, the biggest risk would be uh, um, like uh, either damage to systems. A lot of it's like sort of stunning. It kind of slows slows the ship down. Um, so the larger the ship, the uh, greater the essentially the armor on the exterior to kind of shrug it off. It's like being stung by a jellyfish. And so it's whether or not you can handle that. Um, the, uh, the blooms tend to be in concentrated areas. So it's possible on the size of a planet, you could avoid one of it. You could avoid the bloom and find another spot. Um, and again, this is all sort of explaining why the rays appear to be around the other gas giant as opposed to this one. Okay. Um, 
So I think Thea would mark it as an option and try and map it to see if there's an area that they, like where she could tuck around behind so she could put the gas giant in between them and the rays again. Mm-hmm. Um, and also not get too close to the bloom where they were. So they're two separate planets. So uh, one has the rays and one has the bloom. Yeah, no, I think, oh. but she would still want to keep visibility. The though. visibility. Mm. Okay, yeah, yeah. She would want to keep the bloom specifically planet. Specifically, look at the bloom planet. Yeah, she would go to the to bloom keep... planet and want to okay. keep it between. Um, you can take a little bit of time on this. I think uh, go ahead and give me another program in intelligence, but we'll say you're kind of doing this over a period of time. Um, so you can. Add the plus two, and you normally add, roll three dice, right? Mm-hmm. Go ahead and roll four and keep the highest two. Sweet. Because you're doing this over a long period of time. Okay. Uh, ten without adding any of the additives. Okay. Just ten, ten, ten. Ten, Just, ten, ten. You know what? Oh, those that's, dice what that's what you need. Uh, so that works. <laughs> so as you kind of take your time and look through this, you think you map out a route, you're able to sort of track like exactly how the ship's moving. The biggest risk is going to be moving from where you are to essentially about a third of the way across the solar system to where that gas giant is. Um, and that will expose you for a portion of it to the potentially to the sensors of the ray ships. Um, it's possible you might be able to kind of do some futzing and muddy some of the water so they can't detect you, but that's going to be your biggest risk. Once you get to that planet, you'll be able to kind of tuck around behind it and use it as cover. Um, So from where you are, you have a rough idea of like the sort of shortest and most efficient route to get there, but you will end up exposed for a portion of it. Okay. Um, I relay all of that. I set all of the information up, so so, and I relay it over to Ari of like, Here's where it is. Here's the most effective route to get there, but we do pose this risk in terms of uh, crossing that part of space before we can tuck behind the planet. So you all end up getting this information from Thea, and kind of right around the same time, um, you just get you actually hear this Thea because a little bit before you kind of put together all the pieces, Ari just sort of like lets out this very deep and long sigh uh, and just like <sighs> I have it I have a map I know how to get to the lab it'll take some time it's going to be a couple of thread jumps but we can go did you you find yep. uh, we've got some risk in getting over there though honestly do we need it do we need fuel Oh, is that what this is? Because <laughs> I don't think Thea knew about no. that before. Oh, yes. Uh, Sarin doesn't refuel the same way the bad left. The Sarin eats. Oh, yeah, no, but I didn't realize like, he. It. They, you. They needed. No. Now. Anything can run indefinitely for an extended period of time. What? <laughs> Sarcasm. Sarcasm. Yes, um, Kika pointed out, reminded me, I wasn't really paying attention, um, after we did two uh, significant jumps from your sector, uh, we haven't refueled, not since the last two jumps. Well, then we're going to want to throw out a diversion of some kind. Maybe we can... Do we have any, like, escape pods? We could do another crybaby. You have a bet left. I am 90% sure I'm never going to be the one to tell Ziana that we need to eject the bat left as a crybaby. <laughs> I like Wait, living. What's a crybaby? Is it a person who cries? A small baby crying? No, no. It's when you it's when you like kick something off out of the ship and you uh, Make send a cry. distress signal. Yeah, basically. And then why? Well, because then people go and look at that while you're taking the stuff out of their back room. Oh, I mean, this is in this for case, stealing. Refueling. refueling. Or stealing, if there's an option Let's for that. Let's get everyone here, and we can figure out what the course of action should be. 
That's a good point. I didn't look at what the planet has. Maybe there's something. Can I uh, roll to <laughs> investigate the planet and see if there's any sort uh, of... Life? Which planet? The one that you're at the blue. or the one you're going to? Where the, the blue, blue one is. Um, sure. Uh, this isn't going to be programmed. This is going to probably be no and intelligence. Um, there's a big sapphire. Oh, the, the, entire, the entire core of the planet is a oh, huge man. diamond. It's just no, a big old right. diamond, but also full of murder. Um, at that point, uh, Ari planet. will murder kind of call diamonds. everyone and be like, um, we have a, uh, a map, we have a, a, but we need a plan. I don't think Thea and myself should come up with it by ourselves. Hey. On my way to the bridge. <laughs> I've got a good business on Thea. I got it's a, a good bucket. option. It's got fruit in it? Wait, what? Thank you, Ziana. <laughs> You're welcome. Uh, yeah, on my way. Is this like over comms or meet memes? Oh, um, memes. Knowing that you're connected now, she will probably almost always default to using uh, the telepathic connection. Those of you who are wondering. Okay, you said it. <laughs> we, I realized we had never actually yep. said telepathic connection and then you said it. <laughs> uh, it, is a, it is a telepathic connection. That's because that's how she's used to speaking to a crew. That's how they've yeah. all communicated. Yeah. yeah, it's fine. Rachel just like winces every time someone Thanks. like speaks inside her head. She'll get used to it. You do get used to it after a while. The plan is the tagline for this show. Yeah, often while they're in the middle of something. <laughs> we should have gotten a plan for this. <laughs> I mean, we did have a plan. We just did a community. Uh, you He's arrive like, um, on the uh, on the helm, and uh, Ari sort of goes, "Good news. <laughs> okay, I have a map to the system. I, I know how to get us to the lab. Took some doing, but we got there." And Thea has found one of the gas giants, actually two of them in this system, look like they are good sources of fuel for Sarin. One, the rays are currently congregating around, so we're going to carefully navigate the other one and hope we don't encounter uh, the Nadaria Bloom, which are... Um, what are they? They are, uh, and she sort of like makes like some gestures. Like they have tentacly th stingers. As best as I can um, tell, they basically stick on you and numb you. And if they can overpower a Leviathan and maybe Sarin. In sp and they're in space. They're within the planet. They, oh. they live in the oh. same sorts of atmospheres that Leviathans would consume. They can only normally attack um, babies, but Sarin, as we have clarified, is still young. Younger uh, than... Normally a leviathan of Sarin's age would actually still be with their mother. It's are complicated. Are any of us on the crew vulnerable to these things? Me. Ah. You should you, mostly be fine. Are you coming with us? Well, I'll be on Sarin. Sar Sarin needs to eat. Sar Sarin needs to refuel. Oh. Rin is hungry. <laughs> so, um, yeah, that I don't remember how many other uh, raised ships are in the system right now. Uh, there was, uh, you confidently had identified two larger ships. Ooh. Uh, one is at least a uh, scout ship size, which was uh, so what you encountered with the Larger, the sector, the sector. like the size of Sarin, bigger than that? They are within the same like hull category as Sarin, just because the hull categories are fairly large in stars of that number. Um, they're still uh, freighters, I think, is that's what it is. But technically. Because we're, we're a frigate? Yeah, frigates. Okay. They're still frigates, and Sarin is also a frigate. Um, so technically, y'all are all still within the same category. But um, these ones would be uh, slightly larger and um, not necessarily as well armed, but um, faster. They're, they're designed for scouting, the right. ones that you identified. And th these two larger ships are like probably the like what the scout ships were like on. Yes, yeah, they would have been drones kind of connected to these ships okay. that were designed to essentially increase their monitoring range. Right. They're they're functionally fighters, the little the drones, um, but they're uh, remotely piloted. What? I mean. Uh. I think that we can find a place on this planet to be able to refuel, but we're gonna have to get past that dead space. And they're going to see us unless we either create a distraction or magically disappear. Can, wait, actually, mm. you're pretty good with the, mm. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, keep what, going. What? 
Um, I like where this is headed. I'm really, I'm good at a lot of stuff, so you might need to be more specific. She is very talented with her fingers. Thank you. I don't like where this is going. Um, oh, I didn't. Oh, <laughs> I thought you and Conrad. I just, uh, let's stop with that line altogether. What's, I'm talking about work. I'm not judging. Work. What's going on? You, work. You're good at manipulating okay. systems. Ah, thank you. Yes, I'm also good at that. So why can't we just be invisible? To their sensors. We could try. That, uh, that's certainly not impossible. Especially Easier than we... trying to be sneaky in a ship this size. I mean, the problem is the signal bouncing right back off of it if it gets noticed, but if we just absorb the signal instead, if we don't let it bounce, I don't know how this stuff works, so I'm just gonna assume that makes any sense at all. Are we talking about the bloom of organic matter? No, we're talking about no, the, the rays. rays. Okay, thanks. So to get from the planet we're at mm -hmm. to the planet we need to get the fuel from, oh. we expose ourselves to the ray ships. I think what Thea is suggesting is that when they send out their sensor signals, we absorb the signal in a way that indicates there's nothing in that space and then send back a false information. Yep. Oh, so like, when it echolocates, you just mimic the sound behind it. Yep. Exactly. That's all you have to do. So instead of bouncing it like a mirror, you bounce off what it should want to hear. Well, it doesn't bounce at all. You project what is on the other side of you. Yeah, because you're going to bounce back if it's a sound. I mean, not if it just goes off into space. It's totally not outside. Sound, 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 not in space. That's fine. That's fine. <laughs> but, like, but, but, but the, the echo, not, well, there, you so guys are using metaphors to explain mm. it to the rest of us yeah. who don't understand anything. <laughs> yes. Mm. <laughs> I think the basic concept you're saying is that typically a sensor would go out, it would pick up information, and it would use that. You yes. are essentially trying to make it seem like the sensor information is just going past the ship so there's nothing there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We're pretending. Well, yes. we're do you think that you can do that? Absolutely. We just need someone to pilot the Kuthra out a little bit further, or the Batleth, whichever. Essentially, we need a ship that's a little bit further, closer to where that uh, the the asteroid belt behind us is. Well, I could take the Kuthra out. Uh, then we'll just level your signal and pretend like it's the one that they're trying to send our way. I'm sorry, I need Sarah to say So what I'm again. trying to say is basically we need, um, because we need the signal to like bounce, uh, act like it's coming from a different place, we need to have something there in that other place to know what that signal would look like. Oh. So you need so to send your sensors farther out. Yeah, we need to okay. have sensors farther out so that when the signal comes, we, we're, instead of, you know like what, we absorb and then we bounce back what's coming from our buddy over here. Like equal distance, we have an isos, not equilateral, but isosceles triangle. And so we want to figure out the shape past you don't need to math this. I get what your pseudoscience. Mm. What we are, we are. Let's be real. This is Star Trek bullshitting our way through this. Yes, we are. I got gotcha, you, though. Very but much. I got, I got. We're gonna bounce some some tacky on beans uh, off this deflector array. Oh uh, yeah. Precisely. Uh, I've been yeah. watching a lot of TNG and original series lately. Folks. I love Star Trek bullshitting. <laughs> uh, but as long as it's vaguely scientific enough, I'm willing to go with it. Uh, so. Uh, Thea proposing, is proposing yep. that uh, someone takes the Batleth or the Kuthra out to use the sensory information to pick up uh, some more deep space information so that Sorin can essentially mimic that for the sensors. Mm -hmm. Precisely. Excellent. Um, how does Thea persuade people to do this? Uh, God, that is not her strong point. Um, I, I think that Thea, um, she basically says, look, it's super simple. We just need to have a one of the ships that's further out. And uh, Ziana, you said you're willing to do it. If you are, that's great. All I'll do is set up the program. As long as the ship is out there and we're bouncing, you just need to fly in a direct parallel path. Then we just need to get past the rays and to where we're going to let Surin feed. Yeah. And then yeah. I'm coming back. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Sounds simple enough. <laughs> I right, knock on a this tiny wooden <laughs> coffin for luck. Um, take the big ship. I'm not taking the Batleth. It's safer. 
What if something goes wrong? Then you have guns. I also have guns on Cooper the Kuthra and is more maneuverability and speed. And also not the Batleth. You it would be You could probably fit in the Kuthra with her. Yeah, I know, but I can't help. <laughs> Just <laughs> clinging on to the back of my head. <laughs> I'm not a droid. I can't rep I can rep. <laughs> I mean like you could I'm literally be, okay. you could you literally, literally do that. Just be our battle yeah. droid. <laughs> Thank, Thank you. I will I, I, Claudia is telling I will be your R2D2. Just put me in the back and I'll make really loud. Uh, Claudia is saying this. What is Kika saying? Or is Kika just gonna sneak no. on? If you're going, you're not going alone. <sighs> Fine. Because Oksana was gonna be there before. But now you got me. I Leans on your leg. I will pick my battles. Pick Kika. Onto her back. Okay. Once the uh, Kuthra is, and she's like, she knows what that word means. <laughs> it just grins every time she says it. The Kuthra is in place. Um, we'll start moving, uh, Sarin. I'll need your help to mimic the signal that they give us. Yep, I'm on it. I'll create the program right now. Uh, as you are going in, you also know that um, there is a burst EMC generator, which if you uh, are functionally the, kind of the ability to send out a signal that confuses things, uh, it's, it's part of the way that Sorin can dodge certain weapon fire or cause weapon fire to miss. Um, so you can utilize uh, that device or that function of Sorin to perform your function. Uh, so it'll work a little bit better. Okay. Uh, I would like to do that. Okay. All right, let's head over um, to Ziana as you uh, board up into the Kuthra. Uh, go ahead and just give me a uh, piloting and dexterity or intelligence. Um, and Kika, you are, like most of the time fighters can only fit one, but Kika's like a half size person. So <laughs> she's like, I'm in my suit. Perched though. on uh, Ziana's <laughs> shoulders. What'd you get? I rolled really well until the dice slipped off of the thing I was rolling it on and continued to roll. Uh, six. Total? Yeah. Wait, what are you doing? Piloting I, it. You know what? Position. You're on my head. I'm I awful. just wanted to be, <laughs> have some quiet time on the Kuthra. It's fine. It's fine. I can deal with this. Can, can, it's fine. Can I help by turning the um, parking brake off? <laughs> Yes, you can. <laughs> what am I rolling to help? Um, no and intelligence. Oh good, I don't have to use flying. 13. Uh, you haven't even left the docking bay yet. And like Kika seeing you struggling with some of the controls, cause like you probably remember. rearranged something oh, yeah. in there. And, I like, made it ideal for me. Yeah, it's it, like you don't fit, it's uncomfortable. And she like reaches around and just starts like, it's like when someone like does <laughs> arms around you, uh, that is what Kika is doing. It is a little bit more comfortable afterwards. She like changes the seat settings. And she like adjusts the mirror and then like flips two switches on the side. And so originally it was a really tight cockpit and then the console opens up a little bit for your height and then goes oh. back behind you. Uh, you may now reroll your piloting. Thank you. Let's see if I can do a little bit better. Hold up. Six. I'm gonna get a, I'm gonna get a better surface. Ooh. <laughs> yeah. Bringing out the big guns. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 All right, that's better. Nine. Nine. Uh, I will take a nine. Uh, this was mostly just to make sure you could leave. Um, it's a little bit of a stuttering start. Uh, it's not elegant, uh, nor graceful, uh, nor necessarily direct. But eventually, you see this like it's like a car going like a good. And it sort of like it lurches a few times as it's leaving the docking bay on Sarin, and eventually like slowly stutters off. Meep meep. Are you okay? Meep meep. You used you moved thing 
things in the Kuthra from the last time that I piloted it, and also Kika was not on my shoulders the last time I piloted it, and also I just remembered when the last time I piloted it was, and I had a moment, and we're not gonna talk about that. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, I forgot. Ah, uh, that's a, our, uh, I'm fine. Everything's fine. Bea drops the connection. <laughs> <laughs> I'll miss you, bio. <laughs> You just be everything fine. Bia like, has left the call. She has no longer <laughs> feelings. <laughs> exactly. No feelings in space. <laughs> you know, in face in space, no one can hear you feel. Um, you you make the you sort of uh, lurching starts forward. Um, Thea uh, will guide you to the correct position. Uh -huh. uh, so we're gonna do this as kind oh, of a, yes. a series of checks, and I'll I'll track a. Uh, kind of your effectiveness versus uh, lack of effectiveness. It's clock time. It's clock time. Um, oh. So the first step is going to be essentially getting them to the correct position. Then it, because uh, this is all kind of a group check, and then it's going to be however you collect the signal, uh, and then it's however you replicate the signal. And as you succeed on that, they will see. We'll see whether or not they notice you. Cool. Okay. Cool. This is totally more complicated than I needed to make it, but I'm really excited about this, it. This, this is, is just science Sarah. you chose this to get with. This is just Sarah being a little, um, like, nerd. I'm into it. Thank you. Me too. I'm an, I never get to go in the spaceships. Like, he goes, like, pushing against the glass, seeing if the seals. I never get to go in the spaceships. You live on a spaceship. Yeah, but this one's tinier. <laughs> It's like, um... It's kinky size. What is a small thing that you go to when you're probably... A coffin! It's like uh, a space coffin. Directing Ziana and the Kuthra to the correct position, how are you going to do that? Um, I would set it up as like a, a connection between the computers. So essentially she just needs to like follow, like, let the computer, like, she's doing the piloting, but the um, computer is communicating with the program that is telling Thea which direction the signals are coming from, to okay. say, like, here's where the signals are coming from, so you need to be here rather than say here. Okay. Um, for that one, go ahead and roll me your uh, program in intelligence, and depending on how well she does, that will determine how many bonuses you have to your piloting. And science. Fun. Eleven. Do I get the plus two for being connected to Sarin? Uh, presuming you are utilizing Sarin's sensors to do so, yes, yes, she would. Okay. Uh, so thirteen. Excellent. Um, it takes a moment, but you fairly comfortably are able to figure out. Um, both you see a couple of those smaller drones, and you can, because you've been looking at their patterns before, you can kind of see the direction they're going. Um, they're most likely going to be the ones that are picking up on the signal, and you sort of. Um, figure out in what ways they're traveling and how they are uh, observing the area around them. So Rin's suite of sensors are gonna be pretty similar to what they have available. Um, and you're able to then take that information and pass it on to Ziana. So Ziana, you can roll your piloting with a plus two to get you Ooh. to the correct position. This die is going away. You wanna put it in the tiny coffin? Like the one that you're in? <gasps> Eight. That's not bad. Uh, here's my question to you. That is not the 10 that you need in order nope. to succeed. No, I know it isn't. Um, would you like to, I think in this case, you. I'm gonna want, if you're giving me the option of the two, I'm gonna want to succeed with a consequence. Uh, so you get to the right position, but you, uh, the, the Kuthra ends up um, discharging like, like it's fuel, like it needs its oil changed. And so like it, it lets out a fuel discharge that is not subtle. It's a big old ship space fart. I'm getting farted Wait. on. It's a backfire? No, 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 no. Yeah. We have made a sound that is not the sound that we're supposed to make. So while we did the There's job we wanted to, the signal. <laughs> so while we did a good job of hiding their signal, we just made a signal. Right? Yep. I don't know why. Yeah. I like clocks. 
Uh, Ziana reaches up to her shoulder uh, uh, and I'm grabs no, I'm Tika uh, come on, and puts her down in her lap. Oh. Oh. And like, she immediately puts her hands on the wheel. <laughs> Ziana puts her hands on the wheel. <laughs> We will proceed this way. Okay, Claudia's gonna ask, Am, are we ghosts in this? Are we, are you gonna teach me how to fly the ship using tactiles? I'm never gonna dance again. Is that the song? <laughs> okay, first off, number one, no, that is never the song. The, and number the, two, what is it? Nope, nope, nope. And number two, easy <laughs> to pretend. Lord Jesus. Not alone. What? Number two. Is that the song for ghosts? This is a no. no. Number one, that's not. No, it's not the song. And number two, we're just doing this because I think this will be less distracting. And also, now I know where your hands are. <laughs> just try and learn something. Uh, Thea, you definitely <laughs> noticed that the Kuthra. Um, made itself, made its presence not the most subtle, but it is in the correct position. Oh, thank heaven for small miracles. The next step is um, collecting the correct signal before replicating it. To be clear, Ziana needs to collect the signal. How are you going to help her with this? Um, I would like to help her with this by providing the direction that um, the signal needs to be collected in. Okay. Um, yeah. Would you let me have inserted a program into the Kuthra that would allow her to do this with the press of a button? I don't think you would have had enough time to do that. Okay. Rip. All right. So yep. good try. I tried. Thank you. I tried. Uh, so she gives her like the direction, like you need to collect it from this direction. It needs to be this frequency. Like she just sets up. Here's everything you need. It's to as get. step by step tutorial as as Thea can possibly. Yeah. We will find out um, because this one is going to. Oh, it's gonna be. It's gonna be a. Can I help? Probably talk. Talk and intelligence to give someone instructions. Oh. Why oh. Not, why not lead? Could be lead. I'll, I'll take, take talk. One. Well, I'll take talk. I have one in talk. I was gonna say lead. I, I mean, I want to do it. So, lead is isn't it convincing people? You uh, lead is partially like kind of convincing people to do what you want. Like in this case, she's literally giving you a set of directions. Like gotcha. do this, then do this, then do this, and she needs to effectively and clearly communicate the steps that you need to take. Effectively and clearly. You do well with bullet points. That's, I have the ability to reroll ones, which is not useful if you don't get a one. Wait, what? <laughs> yeah, because I'm a diplomat. Oh, I know, shocker you. for Thea, but <laughs> it's not real. what you would expect. You're a fast talker, I could believe it. Uh, would Thank Thea, you. Would, would Kika like to assist in any way? I mean, uh, I think what I can do is like, I, well, I don't total. know programming, I do know hardware. Eight total? Eight total. Okay. So uh, can I try to, be the conduit between these two people of like friendship, you, family, you do, and my boss, you, who I care about so much. Do speak, Thea. Your boss. Oh, can I oh, also? No, uh, do I get the plus two because I'm connected to Sarin and using Sarin's sensors to be able to identify the direction? Not for giving someone the steps that you're supposed to take. Teaching is hard. Ugh. Ugh. It is hard. Um, but but Kika, you do speak Thea. I do speak Thea. Uh, uh, I. What do you think? What are you trying to do? How are you communicating? Connect is not our connection, no. right? No, no. no. Uh, I, I, I have a zero in talk. Um, but what it's if, less talking. You're more understanding. So I probably that be this no is, or notice. Um, no, it's notice. probably wisdom and no. Okay, I can do that. I understand ship. Well, okay, you try. Um, you have so much more wisdom than I do. I'm the smartest on the ship. Wisdom <laughs> and intelligence are so, two different things. Oh, I have, there's equal. You're welcome. My question remains. <laughs> um, so I'm allowed to re-roll once per Yeah, you are as well. Scene. 
we and that was way better. 15. Mm. Okay, with a 15. I got boxcars. Um, I will have that offset uh, Thea's inability to <sighs> clearly explain things. Uh, Kika, can, can you... Can you RP what this explanation yeah, yeah. is like for yeah, me? So, so and then I really I want I want the full I want the full experience here. <laughs> okay, let's get <laughs> All right. So what I need you to do is take the signal. You need to put it at a cross sectional of 180 oh. to 364 <laughs> by 0.28. Do you understand by 0.28? If you get it off by one or the other, then we're totally baked here. Mm -hmm. Click 2.8. Yep, yep, yep. Perfect. The next thing that I need you to do is make a very careful assessment. Your range is going to be inceptually narrow. You gotta hit between the strong and the light, but it's gotta be on the level of 62 by 43. And like he pauses and is like, oh, and he like flips a setting, like literally flips the console so the correct thing is on top. That one. Now I'm going to need you to, and this is a really difficult one, press record. I don't know what this one is. Oh, it's, it's the button with the red dot on it. I oh. know this. Oh, it's red, yeah. <laughs> and that is exactly how it goes. Um, with, with a plus two, please roll uh, wisdom and no to execute this oh, action. Oh, thank, thank goodness. <laughs> um, hold on, hold on, because I don't think, I don't have no, so it is a 10. That'll do. Yeah! Teamwork! <laughs> <laughs> Makes the not dying happen. <laughs> and the last step is replicating the signal. This one is all on Thea. Oh, okay. You did good. I'm just like sitting by the gun, <laughs> like waiting for something to go wrong. So as Ari's like, are we still alive? I hope you're both ready to be amazed. I assume uh, I like bring up the like targeting <laughs> sensors. <laughs> just like ready. the map of the system. I'm really ready. Yep. Duly noted. Ready for this to go very wrong. <laughs> this one it does have a plus two. Fourteen. Oh my god. Oh I didn't even do my plus two. That's oh, more nice. than that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and that. You're confident that uh, Sarin is now able to effectively and rapidly replicate the system, the signal. Uh, you don't have a lot of time. The window is going to be pretty short because this is not going to fool things for very long. But at a short glance, like on a sweep of a sensor, it should confuse them enough that you can dart across the system. Um, and with that, Ari's gonna make the piloting roll. You know, it also confused me, so I think we're fine. Thea looks uh, a little relieved, like, subtly. Like, she wasn't sure it would work. But she, but then she's like... <laughs> this, you, uh, from the Kuthra, see, like, Sarin just peel out from behind the system and dart as fast as they can uh, across the open gap. It kind of like goes straight past you and then tucks around the back of the uh, gas giant. Like a Tokyo Drift? Yeah. Yeah, um, and those full on slide. There's, there's bioluminescent sparks. It's great. Beautiful. Like you mentioned, what? I'm really good at what? the systems things. I, I believed in you the whole time. That well, was not sarcasm. Me, me, well done, Thea and uh, uh, Aruta. We're okay. We're alive. Everything's fine. Of course we are. And that is where we're going to go take our quick break. Uh, I am going to read out some spellations Yay! that came Are they through. adverts? I will find out. We will find out if they are advertisements. Have some words from our sponsors. Mm -hmm. Have some words from our sponsors. I really appreciate how worried you guys were about the, about bragging before the dice roll. This is the, do you know I mean, who that is? That's, 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 that's how it goes. Talk. I mean, it's true. It it's true, but I feel like that's true to her. So thank you, guys. <laughs> All right, our first Spoonation that came <gasps> through is from William underscore TW with $10, Yay. a new solar system, an egg that will hatch a story in time, a series of collectible dolls, and so much more. All in one episode. Boy, do I, and then there's a space. And I don't, you didn't finish your message. <laughs> I don't know what you, boy, boy, do I, boy, do I love all of this show, but especially Ziana. Oh, <laughs> my turn. Oh. Are we each going to do one? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Sure. Uh, 
Boy, do I like spuns. <laughs> Boy, do I appreciate pina colada mito stickos. <laughs> Boy, do I like not eating all the things they describe in this show. <laughs> uh, boy, do I like generous people like you. Aww. Yeah, yeah. Our next donation that came through is from Mythalian with $10. Space, the current frontier. <laughs> These are the voyages of the free merchant ship Batleth. It's continuing mission to save the universe since everyone else is sitting on their hands. <laughs> You're yeah. not wrong. You're not wrong. Ike is, Ike is a mess right now. Ike is a I kind mess of want like a little screenshot of that one. Like that you, one. you can come over. I'm going and, to, yeah, I'm yeah, you can do that. A uh, pumpkin with 1428. Yay. Get your Trico size Mito stickos today for a limited time only. Now available in pina colada ranch and barbecue flavors. <gasps> what? Wow. Pina colada ranch is one flavor. <gasps> <Pina colada. laughs> That's the next limited edition. We've got to get it. we got to get it. Now. Screw the earth, universe. Ugh, Look, gross. this is important thing. <laughs> God, I'm glad. If Trico's you like pina colada. Yes. And, and ranch. And ranch. <laughs> <goes. laughs> uh, Benny Bear with 56.45 throws a random amount of money at the screen of the best RPG on Twitch. My chance to catch it live is a rare treat. Here's a small token of my appreci appreciation. Thank we appreciate you, you. Benny. Why are Benny. you still awake? Go the fuck to sleep. <laughs> what? Benny Bear's on vacation. Oh, Benny Bear's on vacation. Oh. Enjoy your holiday. Yes. Uh, Paladin and Hulk with $6.96. Three cheers for all of you. Hooray, hooray, hooray. Oh, you, what did we do to deserve Thank this? You. Uh, and Pumpkin with 1428, uh, I could fight song in the background. Oh, no. <gasps> dum, 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 True warriors, empowered by the vision of the mission, give your life purpose. Be immortalized in the sanctity of something greater than yourself. Join the Ica forces today. Go to a recruiter's office near you. No. The galaxy, this I'm adding, needs you. Yes. That was beautiful. Thank you so much for all your generosity. We will take a very quick break and be right back. So in the meantime, please enjoy this lovely fan art slideshow and uh, take care of your bodies, like drinking water and going to the bathroom. Lay on the floor. Or that. Eat some pina colada. So yeah, finish pizza. your tamales.
I think we're live. I just yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, <you laughs> there was just a lot of words happening, so I wasn't on. I, Sorry, I, I was it's listening great. with your big old big old bad ears. Hello and welcome back. You are watching Geek Space TV. We are a nonprofit broadcasting studio based in the Seattle area with a mission to promote and increase diversity, inclusion, and representation within gaming and geek spaces. What is so funny? She zoomed Please in. Please share with the whole way class. too far on the noodles. It was just noodles. It was just noodles. I need to put this in context that Claudia no. and I did a photo shoot this weekend, and one of the pictures involves her eating noodles. Not just that she was looking at pictures of noodles on her phone, but that may actually have made more sense. <laughs> noodles! It really it wasn't what that What is going funny? on right now? I don't, I don't know. Nudes. I wish I could yeah. hop on this train, but I'm uh, very confused. Claudia was showing Lizzie nudes. Oh, ah, thanks! Now look at the fun, it's gone. I, I, think, we, I think it's more it fun. Depends on your yeah. perspective. My, sorry. Um, what we're hearing is it's fine if you send your nudes. Noodles. Doesn't everyone call them noodles? Noodles. 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 Yeah. Yeah. Nudes. yeah. On that note, <laughs> we are playing a game called Leviathan Distance Stars. It is uh, using the Stars Without Number RPG systems, and we're going to jump into the <laughs> second half. I'll have the players go around and very quickly say who they are and who they are playing, and then I will kind of recap a little bit and give you a couple of quick reminders. So um, let's start with Hyperventil Lady over there like we did last time. Thank Wait, you. I thought you forgot your... I f no, it was just in the box over there. Oh. Hi, my name's Jackie Dash, J-A-K-I-D-A-S-H. I like to play video games and laugh at pictures of noodles. <laughs> I play our space back. There yeah. we go. That's the part you needed. Yeah. Uh, I'm currently flying a ship. Lies. I am Liz in the Bulls. <laughs> <laughs> I am playing Ziana, who is actually currently flying the ship. My a hand, ship. My hands are on the... One ground. of the ships. I'm Blue Jay, aka Blue Jay, and my character's name is Rachel Lucas, and I'm. Yeah. <laughs> You're so pleased with that, and I'm so pleased for you. Very fun. <laughs> Hi, I'm Sarah. You can find me uh, at on Twitch and Twitter at Shell Game, and I play Thea Brone who is a highly intelligent, sophisticated programmer who is apt at handling any and everything that happens. Please, <coughs> please, please, please be nice to me. Please be nice to me. I love you very much. And I am your GM, Random Tuesday. Uh, as some quick reminders, we are a nonprofit studio. We do truly appreciate your uh, don donations. Uh, if you are able to send those in, I will be reading the messages out after the break. We do encourage, uh, we, like, we like advertisements, advertisements. Uh, phrased donations because they're particularly fun to read. If you do leave blank donation donation messages, we tend to fill in the blanks for you, for better or for worse. Uh, if you would like to support us in other ways, you can do so by sharing the stream uh, and hosting it, retweeting it, retweeting our tweets, uh, talking about it amongst your friends and family are all incredibly helpful. And you can also support us over for a regular monthly amount over on Patreon, where we recently updated a lot of our tiers, and you've got they've got sweet sweet rewards. Sweet, sweet rewards. So with that, the first half of this episode involved the crew of the Batleth uh, sort of dealing with some of the fallout of, you know, dropping out from uh, sort of subspace travel known as thread space uh, with a ship that needed to be refueled and a destination that needed to be uh, mapped out. They have the destination. They now are simply in the simple part of refueling it. However, uh, their ship happens to be a large living ship known as a Leviathan that doesn't so much use uh, traditional sources of fuel, but rather does kind of like a, a filter feeding system absorbing hydrogen three, which conveniently is a relatively common thing within our solar system or our galaxy, uh, and is currently uh, can be found within the gas, one of the gas giants in the solar system that they are in. Unfortunately, this also happens to be a place where a specific critter known as the Nadaria uh, are amassing, uh, and for a smaller size ship like Sarin, it can cause a small temporary paralysis-like problem if they get caught in a bloom. Uh, they did manage to get their way to this planet without getting detected by the rays, uh, which was very convenient for them because the rays will attempt to murder them. 
They are a series of monstrous living ships, and now they are uh, within orbit of the gas giant that they need to enter in order to refuel their ship. Uh, I presume Ziana leaves the Kuthra, well, takes the Kuthra back to Sarin, uh, and then leaves the Kuthra, doesn't just, like, eject out into space like that one time. Um, one more. I didn't, I didn't that one time. I was told to, but I didn't. Instead, Hexy was on my windshield, like, come out! <laughs> it was fucking what? hilarious. One more. Awesome. One more spin. Okay, after one more spin... <laughs> Really? Are oh, we are oh, we in sensor danger? Are we in sensor danger? I mean, you're floating out in the middle of space. Okay, no, no. Well, I'm gonna be, your I'm gonna be a small. You sp- are however, in a smaller ship, which is harder to detect. However, th- there isn't gonna be another spin. However, Ziana does a little bit more earnestly start showing Kika where to put her hands to like pilot things mm-hmm. and like direct, like you know, like a little kid when you know, like oh, I'll sit in the drive mom's truck. To be clear, Kika cannot reach the pedals. I no, 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 that's no. what my feet are yeah. for. Uh, but she can be directed to the steering and the buttons and things like that. Excellent. Screw uh, mechanical hands. I'll be your arms. <laughs> if you ever uh, Kika them. and Ziana make their way back yeah. to Sarin. Uh, in at the home, uh, Ari is both relieved and, and also looking somewhat impressed at Thea uh, and her Im- uh, impressive coding and hacking abilities that managed to get them across the system largely out of, uh, largely unnoticed. In fact, there was only one failure that made any blip on anyone's radar. Um, as you are on the helm, Ari will kind of sort of look at the end, gesture towards her like, we're not finished yet. Right, 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 right. I, you did, uh, that was great. That was very impressive. Thanks. Anytime Excellent you Excellent idea. Uh, we should I know figure out how to get past the Nidaria. Right. Um it's how much N I D E R I A. Right, I'm just curious. Wait, one more time. N I D E R I A. Nidaria bloom. How much information do I have on them? I, I, I e like I originally thought that I could like pilot to a different area of the planet and mm-hmm. avoid the bloom entirely. Is that still is that accurate or is it more like we need to find some way to um, disguise ourselves to slip past them to get tw- into the planet? So the the Ndaria are from what you could read in the archives. They're not like a uh, hyper intelligent. They're not. They're they are pretty closely akin to like jellyfish or plankton they just sort of like move around and hope to bump into something uh they don't need a lot of nutrients like they can survive for pretty extended periods of time and they sort of swarm together periodically so what's most likely to happen is it's not so much um that you need to be able to sneak past them in any way it's more that you need to be able to navigate them because uh the blooms will expand and contract. So uh, there might be like a stray one here or there, which isn't a problem. And then they'll sort of congregate into a swarm and they can do so sometimes um, when you wouldn't expect it. Like you can go from it just being like a handful of them to a sudden bloom um, as they sort of congregate together. How big are these things? Uh, compared to Sarin? I mean, they're probably about the size of a Kuthra. Like they're like ship size. They're substantial. Gotcha. Um, if you imagine like ocean scale wise, they're like, s- compared to like most fish, they're like sunfish, you know, which they, like, sunfish just sort of like They're the around. worst. I just kind of hope that they bump into food. Okay. Uh, they're, they're a little, they're How a little along they those lines. Evolutionarily, anyway. Um, uh, uh, no. We have a sunfish or the swarm? The sunfish. Like, sunfish are, it's confusing how they survived. Um, Nature just, okay. just rolled lucky on that, and then they just sort of stuck around. No one bothered them, and then uh, if things take a bite out of them, they don't taste good, and yeah, so they just, just like, kind of exist. Like, they can live with a yeah. whole bite taken out of them because they're so large, yeah. and they're basically prehistoric. I, I respect them, but I hate them. Yeah, that's a very... It's a strong opinion yeah. to have about they're a like fish a that just floats there. And there's no competition. Yeah. There we go. Respect. For those who don't know, Steph is off screen, and she has very strong opinions about sunfish. Uh, <laughs> wow. Respect. Hate them. 
So they uh, don't these, at me. They're they're <laughs> like they kind of just are, are occupying this uh, region of the atmosphere. They're actually slightly further out. So once you get far enough into the layer that has more of the hydrogen three, like while Sarin is actually absorbing the uh, the element, they'll probably be okay. okay. Um, it's the getting there and then the getting out that's mm. going to be the challenging part. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I think Thea would look for um, any areas where the disturbance in the outer uh, gas of the planet mm -hmm. indicates that there are fewer of the Nideria there. Um, and she would hope to um, kind of essentially punch a hole through that okay. and then move away from where she punched a hole, like in, the, in that second deeper band of the hydrogen, like move away from the hole just in case the punching of the hole causes a bloom to come together. Okay. Um, so there's a few options. As you're, as Thea's kind of describing like the process, uh, Ari's going, um, anyone who, Ari's not really going to try and show a lot of what's on her face, but anyone who's remotely uh, perceptive can definitely tell like there's something uncomfortable like she's like uh, so we'll need to be able to pilot very quickly and precisely and conrad's still asleep yes you look uncertain about this i haven't um done the sleeping since we exited thread space do you want to take a nap before before? I just don't know if I'm going to be able to do this fast enough or effectively enough. I, I know Conrad piloted most of the second half, but I have... Do you want me to try? Do you need some coffee? Do you want to try? <laughs> uh, well, I'm I, not trying. I, I can do that. Yes. Yes. I can. Yes. Okay. She looks much happier when okay. you that offer. Yes. How do I do that? So, Conrad, um, it can't be that hard. Let me show you. Okay. And uh, she kind of gestures you over to the console. And is like, um, you know how before when you connected with Sarin? Yes. Do that again. Okay. Just that. Yes. Okay. All right. Uh, so Ziana stands there for a second. And then she closes her eyes and starts to focus in on the whale sounds and makes her connection with Surin. And there's that kind of immediate sense of like, you are now the correct size. Like Ziana is like, <laughs> yes, I am. I am a ch like. There's that. I, I mostly say this because I kind of imagine for. Um, oh my gosh, I just completely forgot what Ziana's people are called. Andart and Dart the Andartans. Thank you. I was gonna be like the Druxies. Nope, that's her mother. Uh, the Andartans, like they're, they just sort of feel like they have been trapped in forms that are are not. Like they're they're too they have more personality than, um, and they are in my mind they want to be giants. I mean, uh, we kind of are. Yeah, but bigger. Yeah. But bigger. And so, like the idea of becoming something that is the size of a spaceship is is right. Is, is that sort of sense of feels like good. this is, feels good, um, especially since the spaceship in question has guns now. Oh, it's, yeah, it, like, you feel comfortably like, armed, too. Yes, yes. I don't really do guns, but armed is a feeling I like. And you you feel uh, Ari and kind of as this presence of, like, this, this note within the orchestra. Uh, and then your attention sort of shifts away from what you were experiencing before, which was you were mostly looking at sensors and kind of going that way. And uh, your become more acutely aware of Sarin's motion within space, the way it is moving, the space that it is occupying. And it is now that sense when you, like when you want to move your hand, it's not really a hand there to move anymore, it's a whole ship. And you sort of feel like the motion moving you in that direction. It's like walking kind of slowly 
but you are directing it yourself and you are moving now through space and you see kind of the solar system sort of emerging around you and your senses occupy a space that is well beyond your your physical form to ziana the the speed at which sarin moves just like normally feels almost like she's moving through water mm -hmm. which is especially strange if her brain thinks too hard about no it's space there's literally nothing there mm -hmm. but it feels like moving through water very much so so it's strange she doesn't have the same weird trippy like oh my <laughs> god like the universe <laughs> <laughs> she's she's pretty singularly focused on the task um but and she can pull kind of her mind back out of that and, and keep it sort of in the back of her head. And it's that sense again that something else is just sort of occupying some of your attention. It's that kind of always doing two things at once. Um, and you are very ineffective at multitasking. Mm -hmm. So there's that like going to kind of stop your sentences midway through forgetting what it is that you're saying. Um, but you're very effective at doing the piloting portion. It's it's just the... I mean, we don't know that yet. She hasn't rolled. <laughs> uh, it's the piece about uh, like doing anything that is not that where you're like, right. yes. So I think the very first thing that happens that Thea does after you've like connected in with the ship is she goes... Hey, Ziana, so I was thinking maybe um, maybe I could have an extra ration of Mito Stickos. What? It's all right. If you just say yes, I'll take care of it. No. <laughs> Good check. Good check. <laughs> um, no, you're too long. <laughs> That's too long, I think, just to just say no to Thea. It's probably yeah, a her. very smart save move. Her. I like that. Uh, Ari, at this point, just kind of, like, sits down and looks very clearly like she would like to fall asleep, but uh, doesn't. And, like, takes the leftover smoothie that Kika made and, like, slowly sips at it and, like, makes this sort of, like, that's a flavor uh, face every and, like, time she does. And when I, when I see her, like, grab the smoothie, I'm like, I have actual, like... Don't even... Are you here? Am I here? I, I mean, thought that I we were assume Kika would have come to the helm okay. unless she had somewhere else to be. Yeah. I don't. I, well, just, you know what? Kika probably is like, I'm going to stay in the ship to repair it. Kika's, Kika's definitely going like, Are you just <laughs> sitting in the... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nice. So you're right. I'm sorry. No, I was just like, because I, yeah. I don't remember you saying. I, it yeah. wasn't like an yeah. army. No, it's a good call. Yeah, so and charming. so like I I see the color and the consistency, and I'm like, ah, oh, did Kika make that? I have better, not yes. gross. It is a flavor. It is mine. Is not a flavor. That sounds better. Yeah, I mean literally, hers is. It's. And she just pushes this towards Thea. Thea <laughs> takes it. It's a flavor. Gross. All right, yeah. As um, soon as you leave, she's <laughs> gonna make a face. <laughs> and Ari, like, turns around. Yeah, and so I probably, like, say, oh, yeah, like, let's come get it. And okay. then, like, I, like, take you to, like, where the, the stores are. I assume that most of them are still in the bat lab. Yeah. Because, yeah, they've like, been locked up. Yeah. <laughs> Only, like, the one box of Mito <sighs> Sticko gets got left out. And probably, like, I keep some of mine, like, in my room because I wasn't leaving it for a while. And so, like, I'd be like, yeah, just sit down while you, and then I'm just like, okay, now go, go to sleep. It's okay. Because I see, I see how, like, tired she is. Okay. So there's probably a little bit of the, like, like the, the warm, like, I'm trying to make you feel comfortable feeling, but it's more of a, like, I, you I, look I, really tired. <laughs> and she, yeah, and then she probably gets a, re, a, like, a, like, a you should go to sleep kind of feeling. Oh, yeah. Nice. Um, so with Ziana and Thea left on the helm, uh, <laughs> let's see what yeah. happens to Ari. Time um, to drift! <laughs> and Kika is pretending uh, <laughs> to repair the ship. Not doing the engine repair that I have a, a clock for right here, but no. Um, it's like, I mean, how much time do we have? That's a, a lot of effort. It does. Uh, so, 
Let's do the first portion, which is getting past the Madaria. Uh, I would like to um, provide our captain with with the insight in terms of, uh, like I talked about before, the area that has the least amount of disturbance mm -hmm. um, and the depth that we need to go to get past that outer okay. layer of Nadiria. All right. Um, roll program and intelligence with your plus two. As you are piloting Severin, you have a plus two bonus to your piloting already. We will see if she adds anything to that. Okay. Is that your star, your gold star? You got? <laughs> we did it. Carrying it over on everything. <laughs> It's very important. 14. 14. Uh, it's pretty easy to identify, especially this close. You see a patch kind of on the side of the planet that you're in. There are some sparse uh, Nidaria, but nothing that looks like it would swarm together. Uh, nothing, or even if it massed together quickly enough, there wouldn't really be enough of them to be a threat to Sarin. Uh, you hand those coordinates over to Ziana, who now has a plus four to her piloting check. Plus, what does that even Four. No, that means, means I you add have to four. roll pretty poorly okay. to fail, is what it okay. means. Okay. Challenge accepted. <laughs> <laughs> to be clear, for anyone who doesn't know, she's knocking on a tiny wooden coffin. Poor dice. It's so cute. It's wood. I am terrifying. It All matches right. our goth aesthetic. And I'm. I, we have yes. a less? Yes. 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 Uh, and I'm rolling um, piloting and um, intelligence or dexterity. That's okay. your choice. They're Whatever's both higher. zero. I mean, what? at least they're not negative. What uh, are you? Oh, it's good. 12. <laughs> That's it. above an 11. Yeah, it's <laughs> above 11. It is also above a 10, which is oh, 10, the, 10, uh, yeah. the minimum for success. Um, as you, uh, just, you power through, like you have. You've probably never piloted anything with quite this much mass before, um, but it is sluggish. Like, it takes a moment to kind of get to grips. Like, Sarin does not move the way the Batleth does. Uh, like, as a comparison, I think the Batleth's speed is three and Sarin's is one. Oh. Uh, so this is, and the Kuthra is five, I believe. So like, this is well, like, slow. Um, but it probably reminds you from when you were on the Andartan fleet of like piloting what used to be battleships, like these much larger vessels. And you sort of take a and moment, get your bearings, and then just like, it's like you put the parking brake on and then you drop it off and, and you, cause you know exactly how to get that acceleration burst. Uh, and you gracefully drift Sarin past directly into that second layer of the atmosphere. Once it's there, Sarin immediately recognizing what it is surrounded by, uh, you sort of, anyone, especially you two, while you're currently connected to the ship, but is, and, and probably Rachel, who is uh, more aware of, of this aspect of Sarin, just like, there's like a sigh. It's like that when you've been, when you finally eat after you haven't eaten for a long time, or when you like chug a glass of water when you're super thirsty. And there's a, like a small tremor that, that uh, goes through kind of the top layers of the ship as the back section of Sarin opens up and the sort of large fan for anyone who was on the outside would be able to have seen that is essentially like these sort of uh, long sort of fan-like fingers almost that uh, have a, a, a membrane on them that just absorbs the hydrogen three and it gently sort of drifts through this layer of the atmosphere uh, refueling. I always picture, um, if anybody's seen the movie Sunshine, the big solar fan yeah. thing that they... Yeah, it, it sort of seems a little bit like a, like a giant uh, solar flare, but it, it is a, a transfer membrane for hydrogen three. So while Seren is feeding, Ziana kind of lets her mind drift a little further back into the sensors so that she can see what's happening. It, it, sort mm -hmm. of. It, it's kind of like, like visually in any way, it'd be like being underwater. Um, there is no, there's nothing really to be seen because you're inside of the, the like kind of the storm of the gas giant. Um, there, there is massive amounts of like energy bouncing around. There is radiation changing and fluctuating. Uh, the, the atmospheric composition is like no planet a human has ever survived on or most organics would ever survive on. It's the sort of thing, like, you can be in here if you are within a ship. Mm -hmm. But there is, uh, 
there's there's a very sense of calm. Like you are being wrapped in a in a big blanket and everything like being inside of a fog almost. Like everything is quiet and still. Um, you can't see anything, so it's that sort of sense of like uh, nothing's around, like nothing's going to come and, and hurt me. It's very relaxing. Like there's something very satisfying about it. Honest, it's it's very beautiful. Aww. Um, as Serena is doing this, I think Theo would try and like have the sensors running above them to like keep an eye on is anything blooming? Are they like coming together above us or anything like mm. anything dangerous like that? Um, go ahead and uh, let's do uh, notice and intelligence for this. Okay. I'm just kind of reading what the information is giving you. Plus two still? Mm hmm. Yes. There's a beep Four. in the, the sirenscape that sounds like my phone. Oh, really? really? And so oh. I keep hearing it and thinking it's my text message tone. <laughs> oh, no. And it's not. But I'm still like. Think which one it would be on this one? Oh, it might be the like distress signal that's yeah. on this one. It's fine. I'm just like, every time I hear it, I'm like, is that my phone? No, my phone's on silent, as it should be, but still. Texts are distressing. 14. Um, you are able to tell that uh, there isn't a bloom directly kind of within your vicinity, but mm -hmm. the. Uh, kind of the hole that you left as it sort of refilled like the, the mass of the ship going through um, definitely called attention and there appears in the same sort of place but within a relatively close vicinity of you the numbers of them are definitely increasing okay you think it's gonna potentially be a little bit harder to get out okay um since the numbers are increasing, does that mean that there might be, if we were to continue further in the layer, that there would be an area a little bit further on where there would be less, where we could pop up somewhere else? Potentially. You also know the risk is the further away you get from where you entered, the more likely you are to exit uh, somewhere where the rays could spot you. Okay. Because we don't have sensors into being able to see. You kind of have no idea what's outside of the planet. Okay. Cool. Plus side and downside. Nothing can see you. You can't see anything. <laughs> uh, it's a double-edged sword there. Um, Sarin eventually wraps up its the the fin on the back, uh, sort of closes and recovers itself up with the spines <laughs> that keep it safe. It's very. It's like. It's like. Uh, it's like so it has to protect the. Yeah, it's like it's like folding a napkin, like protecting the the very soft, squishy membrane. Um, but like I'm done. Um, um. <laughs> yes, uh, Serene taps like back, cleans their mouth, wipes <laughs> off their face. <laughs> their little tentacles go. All good. Uh, and like, <laughs> um, and uh, Ari is strangely silent. <laughs> But you are able to tell that Sarin has refueled. Uh, at this point, Ari's like got her head down on the table and she's like, everything's probably fine. Yes. <laughs> Poor Ari. Captain, they've congregated above us, so we're going to have a tougher time getting out. But I'm worried that if we swing around the planet, then we're just going to have to deal with the rays. All right. Um... Can we just wait a little while and see if there's an opening to go, if they drift back apart? So, um, mm, uh, like, or is this like on the bridge? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, so Ziana, yeah. when she talks, cause she's still like, when she talks, it's kind of distracted, so it's sort of, can I think we, that um, by this time, like, I've, like, mm. like I've, like, tiptoed out because, like, Ari's, like, <laughs> and, like, have gone back to the bridge. Because you said it's, like, several mm -hmm. hours that she's feeding or whatever. It, it's not, like, refueling is not fast. Okay, yeah. and, like, I, like, clear my throat from the entrance, and I'm, like, <clears throat> uh, if I remember correctly, hydrogen's uh, not excessively, is it excessively flammable? Is it hydrogen? Uh, this is hydrogen think? three. Um, which I don't. Do I remember? If, is sure. it flammable? It's the third version. Hydrogen is, so is it's flammable, not flammable, but it's the um, the atomic composition of this one is because so um, hydrogen is, but if it's 
bonded. I don't remember how strong these bonds are. It's gonna be less flammable than like a singular hydrogen atom. Well, what about shooting those things is what I was going for. What about, if, I mean, if they're in the way, can't we just wait for them to drift apart? How much time do we have? I thought this was kind of like a... How fast already... are they moving? Do they just kind of like hang there? I don't know if you've ever watched like anything that just floats around in the ocean. Yeah. They don't really have a lot of purpose. Sort of um, so you would be able to Can kind we... of guess like it is possible to wait them out. You have no idea how long that'll take. Um, in what terms of like igniting any sort of flame, like that's doable. It would just require some like dexterity on the pilot side to get out fast enough that the blast didn't like catch up with you. Isn't that like, essentially igniting the whole damn planet? It's not going to be able to set up a whole planet. Okay, like that's, there's that's a lot. The other so the other thing that like we also even if it all the is hydrogen around us flammable, like you need oxygen for that, and like there's not that much oxygen in the atmosphere here. Okay. Maybe we could blow them out of the way. What with like, I mean, so I have the flak cannon, which is like bits of matter mm -hmm. and then the particle beam, which is energy, right? Mm -hmm. So the flak cannon would like hit them with something mm -hmm. that might just like push yeah. them off in a direction if it didn't like hurt them or kill them outright. Do we have that on Sarin, or would that have to be? It's on Sarin. Sarin has one. Mm -hmm. um, Sarin has a flat cannon and a particle beam accelerator. Yeah. Or charge particle caster, and then oh. I think they're both upgrade. They're essentially both the upgrades to the same weapons that are on the battle. They're just better. That makes sense to me. Let's tr let's. I mean, if they're in the way, <laughs> let's this try is that. The most Zen Ziana has ever been. <laughs> oh, let's try right. that. You already said that. What? You already said that. Said Can I have what? a meat o Sure. <laughs> okay. Let's try not <laughs> to hurt them. The meat o They're really big. I'm sure a little bit of, you know, flack won't destroy them. It's fine. All right. They're, like, they're big, right? Yeah, they're really they're big. big. It's just going to, like, create like the force necessary to like get them moving in a different direction. It would it would essentially be like hitting uh, fighters, so it's much less likely to hit them. Um, but it would like they're animals essentially. Like uh, they the will. The flat cannon is actually likely to hit them. It's the particle accelerator that has right. a negative. That's the clumsy. The flat. Mm -hmm. Yes. Thank you. Excellent reminder. <laughs> I wrote this down. Thank you for, I wrote it down, but it's on a different sheet. Anyway, um, I can this. just, I, I, I sit yeah. on my station and, you know, connect to, to Sarin, who's now probably feeling comfortably full. So comfy. And it's... A little it's, sleepy? Uh, no, I don't it's think Sarin gets food comas. Like, I oh. think Sarin's like... Yeah. Hype. Yeah. It's like giving candy Sugar? to a baby. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So... All right. Take the shot. As long as we're ready to go, we're ready. Oh, oh. Right. That's up to you. Spacey makes Yana over there. Yes. Are you sure? Okay. Yeah, yes. Uh, all right. I'll, I'll. No. No. I got a three. <laughs> you may not hit any of them directly. You do still fire the weapon. Okay. So it would have been plus. Um. Your objective in this isn't so much to hit them as it is to disperse, disperse. them. It's a nine oh, when I add on. the plus two from Seren, but it's still not great. Okay. Um, yeah, we're just trying to move them. Yeah. <laughs> you, you are able to fire the weapon in their general vicinity. You don't hit any of them. They're uh, like the the spaces between them are kind of too wide, and there there's a lot of interference. Um, but you see on the sensors, especially there is. There is like several kind of pops as uh, the massive amount, like the heat generated from the, the fires of the, the burst of the flat cannon um, do kind of ignite small portions in the atmosphere. It's not enough of an oxidizer to actually like cause a chain reaction, uh, but you start seeing these like sort of large floating midair just kind of like 
dart slightly away from where any of these explosions oh. happened. Okay. Yeah. I mean, hopefully that was enough. Do we have a hole? There seems to be some of a hole. Go ahead and roll your piloting. Right. And your plus four. I tried. Can I help by um, identifying the best hole for her? And uh -oh. <laughs> she relaxed. <laughs> I saw what she rolled. Does she really not have anything to re-roll? She's not really a pilot. No. She just. She's a warrior. A She's the only other default. person She's who took piloting. Pilot. Yeah. <laughs> I yeah. definitely did not I take piloting. I actually cannot, guys. I no. Like, I don't think any of us want Thea to be able to pilot. I would allow you. We would I just have, have to. A nine. A nine. Is, and a nine is well, still a. It's, that's well, the still most a one off. It's good. From us. No, I thought it's nine was. Uh, ten is ten is the the success. Um, below ten, um, so. I will discuss, I will narrate what happens. Yes. Um, trying to decide because the the main co so I I'm using a slightly different table right than theirs, um, because they have a stacking one and I don't like spending all the time calculating the math for things like hacking. Math tips. is hard. Uh, there's a lot. I have the tables here. Um, with the nine, as you mm -hmm. uh, you sort of peel away, you don't go quite as fast um, as you did the last time. Like it's a lot more sluggish, kind of pulling through this system. Uh, and Thea, you see like a couple of them graze against the hull of Sarin, and there is like a crackle that goes over the exterior. It's not enough to debilitate it, um, but you you all feel the you don't feel the actual pain, but you know that someone did. Aw, Sarin. Does Ziana feel it? Uh, Ziana does not feel it. What? None of you feel actual physical pain, but there is like a, a sort of a, a pit, like this momentary like spasm that's then gone. And you know that, that Sarin experienced something that was definitely uncomfortable. Oh. Um, and do you think Ari might have as well? These Ooh. fingers like completely uncurl and then curl up really, really tight. And then they uncurl. <laughs> Sienna winces <laughs> and actually says quietly, sorry. Um, but Surin emerges from the exterior of the, the gas giant, uh, largely unscathed as far as you can tell, other than a couple of hit points lost. Ow. There's like a little bit of warmth emanating from the small part of the cockpit where Rachel is, but it's like definitely not like a ton. Yeah. I mean, I can, I guess if she only lost a few hit points, I could probably still be like effective, but. Uh, Ari's pain is more psychological, um, but you would be able to heal her a lot easier. Um, so Rin will slowly regenerate. Okay. Um, but it's um, mostly exterior. I would come to knowing that she's in pain, like we're not there. So, mm -hmm. uh, so you are now mm. refueled. You are on the exterior of this planet and you have a map. Eventually, if anyone goes and wakes up Ari, uh, she will get to the helm and uh, at this point, Conrad might have recovered enough, but she'll probably take over the piloting yeah. at least for the first jump. Um, and it'll be a little bit of time as you head uh, towards the system. Yeah, so I guess like right after we get out, I'm like, so like, should we let her sleep? Yeah. I don't know how long her species needs to rest for. Thea's gonna pull up the the sensors to be able to whatever she can see in terms of where the rays are at and mm -hmm. start monitoring them because to her Ari can sleep until the rays start acting up but then sorry no more sleep we gotta go uh, they seem to be doing about what they were doing before you went in uh, there is a little been a little bit of a shift of mo movement um, you can give me a uh, program in intelligence to see exactly what's changed and are you piloting or is Ari yeah so you're while piloting. Ari is asleep Ziana is. How, like, do any of us, because she doesn't stay on the bat left. She has, like, quarters or mm -hmm. whatever on Seren. So do any of us actually know how long her species requires to rest or how often? I don't think think anyone's big tried. Herself very, I don't think she sleeps. I don't. She works very hard. We should let her rest if we can. Okay. I'll go 
there is inf like there's a whole ship with like databases about mm. the Permisans. Like you could go look it up. Would like Thea crying. know this based off of her attempt to learn the language, the um, Permisan language? She might have picked up some things. You would be able to read it no problem. Like if you want to go look it up, I won't make you roll. <laughs> you just need to tell me that Thea wants to go find out about some of the basic biology of the species. It's like googling how long do humans sleep. Like, wait a. I'm sorry. Where is the egg in the copulation cube? It's in uh, the copulation. It, yeah. It, is it yeah. hidden? No. We're it, gonna, it, no, no, no. We're going to say it's hidden because otherwise no, there's so much the shit. That, no, no, no. Yeah. It's, it's Which hidden. is underneath it's a blanket. Like, it, there, <laughs> there has since the last time Ziana went in there, there is like a box. It's about this big. You know, it's like... It's just like a, it looks a little bit like a okay. metal box that's okay. been moved okay. in there. Okay, good, yes. Uh, if okay. you can't see what's inside, if good. you go near it, it's like a little bit warm to the touch, but that's it. Like, that's Ziana, all Ziana sees. Ziana figured you guys were heating up Mito Stickos or something, didn't care. Yeah. Moving on. <laughs> I, oh, yes, that is, that is in the copulation <laughs> cube, and inside of that is an egg. Yes, alone with Conrad. As uh, Ifrit Thiel pointed out in chat, that's. Do you want to get xenomorphs? Because that's how you get xenomorphs. Uh, that's exactly yeah. what I said. <laughs> <laughs> oh, is it? Yes. Yeah. Um, so you're piloting the ship. You're actually doing work. Uh, Kiki's gonna be. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> she never does work. <laughs> I, think I think the way you said it made it sound like Ziana wasn't oh, doing work. Oh no, <laughs> Ziana always does work. <laughs> Thea never does work. Uh, neither does Kika. <laughs> so, well, Kika fixes the end. Kika, like, does really strong work about half the time. So her work I'm working we... right now. So she's, like, a C average. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. Like, it's really only A's and F's. I'm really close to retirement. <laughs> well, Don't what say Kika that. Doing? That's how you're the first character to die. No. Yeah, literally. Don't say that you're, like, getting married, retirement, and never, ever wear a red shirt. That's okay. I got something better. What's happening? Um, so I, I, rolled a, I, want, oh. I rolled a 16 for the okay. thing that I was doing. Uh, there are more ships. More? There are more ships. Uh, there, there are now four in the system. Um, three of them still look like scout ships. One of them is much larger than a scout ship. All right. And they don't appear to be leaving the area of that planet except... Um, really to kind of investigate some of the, like they're just sort of sticking around that area in the system. And you're pretty far away from them at this I'll point. I'll go check on Ari. That's not the planet where we're going, is nope. it? Okay. You are leaving the system. I'll go, ch I'll go check on Ari. Wait, no, I'm on top. Uh, well, I'm, just I'm know... head into the bay where you are with the fighter. I'm gonna... <gasps> what you know is this is the sector, this is the system that the rays left from right. to get right. to Genis Landing, right? And to the sector that you were in. So. We're back tracing the steps. Yes. We're, we, we have a map. We do now. So essentially once you got to a sector that Ari had been to before, or that she, like her and Sarin had information on, she would then able to calculate how to get to the lab. Okay. Okay, so yeah, I say I'm gonna go check on Ari. I go into the cargo bay where the Batleth is and Kika is playing with uh... <laughs> Wait, I'm sorry, are you still in the Kutra? How long has it been? Uh, like a hours. few hours. Oh no. <laughs> okay. Well then Kika's on the bat left. Kika's probably like carries a, like a big roll of plastic piping and then sees Rachel just drops it. Oh my. No, no. What are you? No. Ah, where are you going? I'm going to check on Ari. Oh, okay. I'm gonna I, go with you. She's on the, she's on. What? I gotta fly a ship today. Love no, I, I got to fly a ship today. Is you know, that I'll, not something you've done? No. Before? No. Well, like, is we that don't, something you wanted to do? I mean, oh, it's... Congratulations. No one wants to fly a ship. I have no interest in flying like, a ship. But, like, you can all the time. I cannot, No, actually. but you can... Oh, oh, right. I'm right, sorry. Right, you can. I got to do it. Do Tricos not have, like, special... There, it's possible. Like it's there are like technologies to convert it into sensors, like for Trico's. They they're not a spacefaring species. Oh, um, it, it's I didn't, very rare. I didn't Only know that. Them no, are. Um, we kind um, of we we had small like communities that got kind of pulled into. Kidnapped. They were they were they're picked escaped up. lab rats. <laughs> and so then we went from. 
A handful like, of them manage to get aboard ships and and go into outer space, but the rest of their species is still pre uh, ship faring and mm -hmm. stuck on their planet. Mm -hmm. Right. Well, mm -hmm. Rachel doesn't know that. No, no, yeah. it's fair. Yeah. I yeah. mean, our so, race exists. It's just like it's like it's a small. It's like a small subsection. That's not even. Icon. Yeah. So Rachel just doesn't like realize. Yeah. No, it's like it never happens. Like we're always told we can't. It's very exciting. There are other species that have similar issues, but like those those sort of modifications for ships are not that common because it's not a thing that a lot of species need. So you right. need to like specially install it. Right, and no one's gonna do that. But like, it's kind of new and it's exciting. And do you know my boy? You know my boy? He's gonna, one day he's gonna do it. He told me that. Oh, yeah. Okay. He's gonna go to pilot school. <laughs> he's gonna join Ica. He's gonna be the first. Trico. And you say he's gonna join Ica, and Rachel's uh -huh. just like, he's gonna join Ica, and he's gonna get all the fancy equipment, and he's the first one who's ever gonna do it. That's what he told me. Very proud, I'm sure. Um, what's what's all that for? Oh, uh, oh, um, I'm fixing the f <sighs> fixing the fourth turbine. The, the what? So I don't. I don't know how much you know about ships. Um, frigate levels usually have four to six turbines. This one only has three <laughs> that are operational. Uh, I thought that's how Ziana liked it. Uh, I learned yesterday <laughs> that's not the case. So we're fixing it. Do you wanna, do you wanna help? I cannot help with fixing mm. things. I'm not a fixer. I'm a doer. Well then do help me fix this because you're tall. <laughs> you can hold things. I, I have to check on our, our, our. You're missing out. We're gonna use the soldering iron. And she like spools it all. And it's like, that's the one that is fire. Okay. And like, you're like, you're like carrying things that are basically the length that of you are. Oh no, it's, it's looped around now. And she walks, she, she goes, and like, she tries to, she like kind of does the three leg, like one arm, two leg hop thing and like scoops it. Do you need help? No. Okay. No, it's you've made it clear. One day you'll come help. Okay. okay. Um, and I just like follow you as you like three-legged hop because you said you didn't want help with the carrying, which is what I meant. And I'm also going on to the bat left. So you're just yeah three-legged hopping, and I'm like slowly walking behind you because I don't want to like awkward awkwardly <laughs> like go ahead. Super, it's of like you. I said goodbye. Now we're going in the same direction. Yeah, it's very much that. It's okay. We go in opposite directions. You go up. I go underneath and there's like a small hole and I assume there's like the scuttle small there hole. There is totally a door into the engineering but at this point like there's also like a Kika size like hole in some it's plating faster. that she likes to use. There's the atmosphere more grabbing. occasionally does a vent from the engineering whenever you open the docking bay but oh, great. most of the time it's sealed. Are there little the passageways and holes and whatnot in Sarin through which the little cleaner bots go? Mm -hmm. Are they relatively Kika size? Yeah, that's what they uh, got stuck in the last time. Yeah, okay, just checking. Y you weren't here. Uh, they went down one of them. They mm -hmm. got stuck because there was a... I got caught by a big one. bug. It wasn't even trying to eat them. It was just in the hole. We thought it was going to kill us, and then it did try. Uh, no, no, you landed on it and killed it, and it's <laughs> death <laughs> like you yeah, yeah, did yeah. you not know? No, I thought it was dead. I thought it was dead. It'd be like, Ugh. Yeah. You landed on it, it died, and then it did that thing that bugs do when they die, where it curled up on itself. <laughs> it just happened to be you landed on it. Okay, well, I'm sorry. While Kika's having this moment, um, I go and check on Ari. Is she, is, is, she, yeah. is she sleeping? Um, where did you leave her? Did you just leave her in the... I left her in my quarters. In your quarters? Like, yeah, not on a table. I was just like, I have some here. Oh, look, there's a bed. Look, you should lay on it. Yeah. She probably lay down on it is, is just kind of, like, slightly sprawled out. Um, and seems to be pretty asleep. Okay. And then, like, I do the thing where you, like, you're like... Okay. You close the door. <laughs> and then, like... I don't know, the closest place where I can like sit down and pretend I'm not just waiting for her to wake up. Or we the canteen. <laughs> yeah. So I, I just go in there and I don't know, watch the least ridiculous thing that we have <gasps> to watch. 
Um, As we sail through the stars. Queer eyes for the space guy. <laughs> <laughs> that is very much not a racial show. That's, that's what's on right now. Wait, um, wait, what do you mean it's what's on right now? I thought it was all downloaded. Yeah. No, it is. It's just okay. what Oksana was like. So she's like, I, sometimes I like to play sounds. And she turns it off. <laughs> <laughs> is there anything? I get lonely sometimes. No, it's strange. It's, no, it's fine, Oksana. No, it's okay. I just, I, I'm just waiting for, Ar- do you know how long Ari sleep? Those people that her people would sleep for? I don't know how I don't- have access to that information, but Thea might be able to get it, or anything from Sarin. You can't just, like, communicate with... Sarin? Yeah. No. It appears not. Oh. I guess I didn't think about it. I can communicate with all of you who are Sarin's crew. Oh. Much in the same way, if I was not part of the Batleth and no one was on the Batleth, you could not communicate with this ship. I guess I didn't think about that either. All the ships I've ever been on have had the interface. This is a we really are old ship. Useful. This is a very old ship. Someday, I will acquire a new body. Mm-hmm. I can help you with that. Excellent. When we all get out of this alive, that sounds like a wonderful plan. Yeah. When? Anyway, um, uh, do you, um, do I just, I, I, I guess you wouldn't know. Would you like to see what we have downloaded and available on the ship? Um, I, sure. And she like scrolls up in the screen. It's like pay-per-view or it's just like a list of shows that have been downloaded. Um, I don't know if Rachel had any control over this, but we've listed off many of the many ridiculous shows. A lot of them are like reality shows and we space like our operas. Garbage. I think so- Rachel has a soft spot, very guilty pleasure for romance soap opera kind of shows. Oh, there are a lot of soap operas. Mm -hmm. Uh, I think one of them was like Days of Our Space Life. Like, I don't remember. Something like that. Tritium Years of Our Lives. Oh yeah, it's like Tritium Days of Our Lives. (laughs) And so she's like, looks around to make sure no, like Kika isn't like coming up here. And then it's probably like, can we watch that one? Yes, yes we can. Why are we whispering? Don't tell anyone. Oh, sure. Okay. <laughs> so you think you have yes, yeah. yeah. so yeah. does it keep a secret. <laughs> you, I mean, yeah. She does until it's you not get, convenient. I mean, oh, like, true, you, true. Get to know, you get to know Oksana a little better and you'll... <laughs> <laughs> I mean, uh, right. she won't tell right. anyone until it's fun for her. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, and by her, I mean... Uh, time will pass, and unless anyone's doing anything particularly <gasps> dramatic, uh, you were repairing the engine. Please roll your fix and intelligence. Yeah, the roll four dice. No, 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 no. Finally, repairing the engine. This is a bad number? No, it's a good number. That's a bad number. Yeah, it's okay. I gotta pick the highest two. Yeah. Yay. Two sixes. Fifteen. You successfully begin repairs on the engine. Uh, I cleaned it out, and now <laughs> That's I'm how like. You started repairs. Well, uh, and then like all the pieces that I did not organize. <laughs> okay. Oh my god, you're the well, one who opens all the little baggies and spills all the parts onto the floor it and never doesn't sort the any of them, them. <laughs> and then has to hunt through the whole pile every time. Well, the you? problem is I I took all the pieces out with a very organized system in this box, and then when I brought the hose and I tipped over the box. <laughs> of course. So. This is not the first time this has happened. No. No. How long does it take Ari to wake up? Um, does, so they, uh, I'm trying to convert into hours. It's a little longer than like a human sleep cycle. It's probably about 12 hours. Ugh. Um, but you notice like they don't sleep as often. Right. So for this one, like you can wake her up early, but if you let her sleep the whole cycle, which she hasn't yet, um, she will sleep for the full 12 hours. As long as nothing weird happens with the rays. I think as soon as Thea like recognizes that there's more ships, she would notify um, whoever's on the bridge, which I think is just Ziana, right? Yeah, so she would be like, Captain, there's more ships. They're staying congregated around their planet, but I'll monitor them. At the first sign of movement, I think we got to get out of here fast. All right. 
I'll um I'll keep I'll keep an eye. Yes. I'll watch them. <laughs> <laughs> Can I have three hundred duck? What? Just say yes. No. <laughs> you gotta, you gotta try harder. Um, <laughs> like during our, d- during our uh, days, the tritium days of our lives, lives marathon. <laughs> there's a couple of times where I like go back and like open it, and I'm just like, no, oh, she's still sleeping. Okay. And like, <laughs> <laughs> like, like go in and like tip, tiptoe around her and grab like a sweater she's and oh, like. I forgot, and, does it, do they move on their own? No. Okay. And then, like, you know, go back and say, okay, we can start it again. <laughs> uh, but they do, uh, especially when she's sleeping, actually, they, like, sort of randomly, cha- like, color wave um, oh. as, like... As she's dreaming. As she's dreaming. Oh, cool. That's really, like, they're a little bit uh, sort of, like, an emotional, like, a communication cool. signal. Um, but, yeah, when you dream, it's like, ooh, what the fuck is happening? Um, do our tattoos do that, too? Uh, we don't know. We're asleep. You don't know. True. Like they, you can, if, you, if anyone's ever tried, like, they can move. What, the tattoo? Yeah. They're not what? tattoos. They're just, like, pigment, of, like, bioluminescent pigment. There's definitely a point at which, like, Rachel is, like, staring in the mirror at the, like, new thing, and she's like, what does that look like? And then, like, there's the part of her brain that has started to learn telekinesis that, like, mm, just, like, it moves. Like, yeah. Suddenly it's on the other side. So she, so she probably, like instinctively does that and then is like whoa and then like starts like making cool designs in her mohawk it's great yeah. it's just like a, a, some bioluminescence it's great it's cool bioluminescence is great she um, tries she tries to see if she can get it to move into her irises so her eyes glow that would be so cool it probably can yes yeah she, she has glowing eyes now it's great all the time it doesn't matter You're like you have pigment in your eyes um yeah, it might make your vision a little funky, like especially at night when there's low light, because like your eyes are now emitting light, uh, and that might might mess with some of it. Uh, eyes your demon. What? <laughs> Sorry. I mean, she would she you would probably on. try and like move it if they were trying to sneak. Yeah. But like, yeah, the undersea things that yeah. have bioluminescence, like, like they survive. They turn it off when they're trying to hunt shit, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. But yeah. otherwise, we're good. Control of it. Uh, freaky and awesome. Um, Bioluminescent eyes? Yeah. I don't know if she said I could. Oh, it's cool. fake. No, right? no, no, no. I, mean, I, I thought you just said that there were animals that had bioluminescence. I don't know. Like, they just, oh, like, well, bioluminescence. Like, uh, oh, oh, okay. Just got like, got period. Yeah. Um, those of you who are monitoring the system um, over the course of about the 12 hours um, probably only happens once. Yes, it only happens once. Uh, another ship arrives. Another raised ship. Is it what size is it? Am I able to tell any information uh, about it? From here, and especially, it is a uh, a larger ship. It is also a uh, cruiser size. Okay. Ooh. As soon as it arrives, I make sure that uh, Ziana knows. Um, and the way that I do that is by going, shit. <laughs> I see it. C is not the right word. Experience. I know that it's there. Ziana, give me a, um, a no and wisdom or intelligence, which is higher. <laughs> I don't have either. Uh, ooh, <gasps> hot cars. Uh, so I'm gonna negative one from my box cars. <laughs> <laughs> with uh, eleven. <laughs> you don't have no. That's fair. Um. I will say for this, because this is specific knowledge um, that you have as an Indartan, you know what a fleet looks like. Oh. Oh. Oh, man. And this is not a fleet. No. Not yet. But it's getting there. But it's getting there. Is what you're saying. And they're lingering. They're not moving on. Nope. They're collecting. They're going somewhere. What do you mean going somewhere? They're... Ziana tries to pull herself back from Surin a little so that she can try to focus her mind. They're gathering. Yeah? You gather a fleet to move a fleet. Shit. We have to go. We have to go. I presume with that you wake up already. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> How 
was I asleep for? I don't know, Jam, how long? <laughs> <laughs> it been like six hours. <laughs> About halfway through. Okay, um, we should, we should, um, lab. Going, yes, moving, moving, I'm ready. As Let's... soon as I hear her, I'm like, turn it off, turn it off, turn it off. <laughs> the volume goes up briefly no! and then it goes down. And I think I off. heard something. No, 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 it's on the bat left. Yeah, yeah no, and I'm yeah. tuned into Sarin. <laughs> oh, right. <laughs> um, and I like oh, peek sorry, out of the. Off, you said off, not up. And oh. I peek out and I peek out of the, the canteen and I'm like, oh, you're awake. Yes, um, thank you. I feel better. I feel better. More alive. Okay. Let's meet go. me. There is a fleet of rays gathering. Oh. There's only four of them now. But we've watched two poured we've watched two thread in in the time that Aryuta has been asleep. Wait, where are they going? I don't think we want to find out. Can I tap their communication from here? To listen in. I mean, I'm gonna, I'm gonna give you some uh, like two pieces of GM information as reminders okay. to the players. Say this: this is the sector that the scout ship left yeah. from yeah. to mm -hmm. get to your sector. Like this is the solar system. They're headed into. Like that's the that's the pieces you're able to put together. Like wh is what? There, is there any way we could stall them? By making ourselves known and fighting them. Or, oh, I mean, there's got to be another way. And then being destroyed. <gasps> could, we no. could we lure the Nideria away from the gas planet? <gasps> you know that they wouldn't impact, like, especially the cruisers. They wouldn't do anything. Okay. Be oh, that's right. Those they're, they're, they're the older ships. That's yeah. right. That's right. Um, when, when you explain this to Ari, um, she will point out, like, we will be coming back this way. This is yes. the only way we know we how to get back. By then I, we'll have a better idea what their forces look like, and we'll hopefully have a weapon. If they've sent out, if they've sent out a scout ship, and now they're assembling an attack force, four ships is not all they're going to send. No. At the rate that it, we've been here six hours, we've seen two come in now. You've been here I, more than six hours. In than, six hours, you saw one come in. In six hours, we saw one come in. I think the best course of action right now is for us to go to com try and complete the mission. If we're wildly successful, perhaps we'll draw them back and delay them as they try and deal with us instead. And oh, oh, okay. otherwise, <laughs> hopefully we'll be done with gathering the weapon that we're looking for and then be able to come back and reassess. Sure, yeah, let's, let's just leave this gathering fleet that will come to our sector to destroy it and go do something else, sounds good. This has always been what was happening. Right. It's just different to watch it happen. I understand. We need Should to move on. Should we tell someone that they're coming now? That they're gathering the forces? Or... <laughs> Do we even we have the possibility of getting a signal out that wouldn't be detected by the rays? Probably not. From the distance that you're at, like the amount of time that you traveled to get to this sector, um, you... Like, the way long-range communication works is essentially they have to go through relays, and yeah. there's no relay between here and there. Um, uh, like, so it you would take longer than they would take in thread space to get there? Probably, because you can't send a message over thread space. Right. Okay. But you don't know, um, but like, we, the information you have right now is just that there are ships gathering. And, and you can make the inference that they will be eventually leaving. Yeah. Um, but you would suspect, especially as a warrior, this is not the size force that they're going to no. go invade an entire galaxy with. No. This is just the beginnings. So speed is of the essence. Yes. Uh, okay. <sighs> Let's go. I'm gonna get some sleep. And uh, Ari will head to the helm and begin the journey to the lab. I think that's probably where we'll wrap it tonight. Oh, <laughs> Kick somebody out of bed before we have to go into a lab that's probably going to be full of hollow. Oh, uh, what you're talking about. Uh, what was that? Uh, oh, my glasses. Uh, Wait, can you show me that more time? There were so I memorized it. There were colors, and then there were things, and there were writing things, and there were a lot of turns, and there were a lot of mazes, and we really probably should not you separate. There were so many sticky notes. I need to use my <laughs> okay, eyes. Okay, Thea. 
not separate. Okay, th that was Sarah saying that. Thea is definitely going her own direction. Good luck, you guys. I'm so sorry in advance. I, don't, I mean, I don't feel like it's us who needs the luck. <laughs> like, I'm just. You're, you've gotten very she's, shot. Before. She's very, That's she's true. very shooty shooty. That's true. I'm very stabby stabby. You're I'm very, very skinny stabby. stabby. Um, I think stabby. like probably right at the end, like our, our our button on the episode is just like Conrad sitting bolt up with a Slurpee on his head, <laughs> going, I can see through time. <laughs> and then lying back down okay, as the ship blasts. I think Dan would be face. okay with that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he's not wearing a shirt. To be clear, in that you image, you can see yeah. all eight all, abs. All eight abs are visible. He's got a bonus two pack. You can that's get, you added can have to it, the you six can pack. Have an eight pack. Uh, yeah, you I can have an eight pack. Yes, you no. can. If you work out enough, yes, you can you have. Can. Have an eight yeah. pack. Yeah, yeah. that's human. I would um, have enough and have like zero percent body. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's yeah. Conrad. But that's yeah. Conrad. Yeah. An eight yeah. pack is definitely humanly possible. It's not. You know, um, I would love if Dan wanted to just film himself doing that for us. Just t <gasps> tweet it out. That'd be great. Uh, someone tell Dan what I said. Uh, with that, I'm going to read out our donations. I um, mean, our advertisements. Our advertisements from our sponsors. Our words from our sponsors. We, hashtag we don't have sponsors. But you are our sponsor. sponsor. Uh, with the ab Aber 5000, you can have any mm -hmm. as many abs as you want. Can I have one? Yes. Oh no, you can't what? actually have one. Yeah. That's what I have right now. Um, our, we had two donations come through. Our first one was ten dollars from BP Phantom. This space is intentionally left blank. Uh oh. Uh -oh. Well, that, that was the message. We... That was the message. I mean, it was. Uh, 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 um. Uh, Nigeria. <laughs> Stretch. And that is, is your no no no. <laughs> is your home a mess? Don't like cleaning? Well, you're in luck because we have our very own new version two Slurpees, which will clean your entire house over a long period of time. And all you have to do is live in the mess. Just remember, dial one eight hundred Slurpee. S L U R P E E. Ding. For one million easy payments of nine ninety nine. When we're prohibited. Last one came through uh, from Pumpkin with fourteen twenty eight. Are you a Trico? Do you want to fly a <gasps> fighter? Get your Trico compatibility module today. This small device simply plugs into your dash and converts all instrument feedback into auditory signals. The what? perfect gift for an adventure Trico. Get yours now. Oh, there's another one. And one more. I like it. I was thinking of like the tactile thing from um, that one movie with, oh no! It's Wakanda's in it. Wakanda. <laughs> Wakanda, the main character. Just all of Wakanda. I mean. <laughs> but like the tactile, like all the people. Yeah, the, the sand things. Thing. So that's what yeah. I assume like uh, the newest That's, that's thing. one of the other things too. Uh, your sp advertisement here for $25 and oh. a message. I didn't want, you, you want to do it? Okay. <laughs> There you go. Get yours <laughs> today. <laughs> uh, thank you so much for your donations, for your your presence. Uh, we will be back ne <laughs> next week uh, with more Live and Distant Stars. We will have uh, Conrad and his eight abs. Uh, she'll be returning, and then the following week will be a, a super awesome fun time that I have revealed too much information and Lizzie knows absolutely nothing about. And Claudia actually knows nothing about me because she doesn't read the description. And I know everything about, about because I am good at riddles. We're average an, a, a knowledge about what it's about yeah. because I am 0% and you're 100%. 50% of knowledge is passing. No, it's not. <laughs> um, with that, uh, let's uh, find out when and where you can find our various players next. And uh, then we will sign off. Uh, let's, let's go backwards. 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 Hi. I'm so you have to speak backwards. <laughs> no. Oh, I wish I could. I wish I could. Uh, I really what a useful that. skill. 
All I can do is close one eye and the other, but now my, anyway, here we go. My name's Sarah Scheller. You can find me on Twitch and Twitter at Shell Game. If you're looking to see live performances like the Star Trek parody improvised show that I have coming up, check out sarahperforms.com. It's in August. There are other people that you may or may not know. And Wait, many other cast people. members, such as uh, Cheryl, a.k.a. Muffet Aphrodite, and Tiny Beaven, a.k.a. Mm. Tony Beaven. I totally mm. want to see that. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Is it Star Trek? They're lovely humans. That sounds rad. Okay, I'm also doing a Star Trek thing because uh, this last Monday when I was supposed to be doing my... I'm Blue Jay. Blue Jay. <laughs> this last Monday when I was supposed to be doing my Star Trek finale, instead it was Prime Day, and so we did not use Twitch on that day mm -hmm. and did not yes. buy from Amazon and, you know, something fist. I, I don't. Solidarity. Fuck yeah, fight the uh -huh. man. Um, and so I didn't stream on last Monday, um, but I'm streaming now the finale is on this coming Monday Ooh. for my Star Trek show. Ooh. So that's, it also gives me more time to prep, so I'm yeah. totally fine with it. Thank you for uh, the raid. Yeah. Thank you for the raid, Rothgar. Raid, raid, raid. Um, anyway, Blue Jay, that's me. I'm, I'm me. Yep. Falling <laughs> prosper. Whatever. I'm, I'm Stars Distant Leviathan of episode <laughs> next the on Wednesday next VT Space Geek on here me find bold the Lizzie I'm Yay! Bravo. <laughs> Hi, I'm Jackie Dash. <laughs> H S A G I K A J. <laughs> <laughs> Please find me on Twitch and Twitter. I yell things on Twitter. I play video games on Twitch. Next time you can see me is Saturday and yeah. have fun. Be awesome. Um, and I have been your jam random Tuesday. You can find me at random Tuesday. You can also find me tomorrow with Blue Jay. No, it's on Friday. On Friday. Tomorrow's Thursday. God, Tomorrow's I always Thursday. think tomorrow's Friday. No. It's not. You might on also Friday. I had that moment. I was like, wait, I get to play DD with Nope, that's the next day. On Friday, we will be playing D D D together on the D, &D channel, Team yep. of Annihilation. Um, and then I also do uh, Roll for It on Sundays. This is I'm in three RPGs in three days. It's a lot. Two of them are on one day. It's going to be great. We'll play three RPGs in five days. No, I'm in two on Sunday. And two then one on, on Sunday. Sunday. Normally, I would be in one and one on Saturday and one on Sunday. It's almost like this is how you make your living. It is almost like it's how I make my living. But there's going to be some great emotional whiplash going from like depressive teenager to a pony on Sunday. So <laughs> join pony. me for that. It's going to be great. Um, Friday night, we will be back here with Eat, Pray, Kill. Uh, so join us 7 p.m. Pacific time with our amazing cast of people who put on way more makeup than any of us would ever. Yeah ever consider. You'd have to pay me more. Um, they they just I finally bought one of them real makeup. <laughs> um, so join us for that on Friday, and then we'll be back again on Monday with a loft before Wednesday next week with more Leviathan. Thank you so much, everybody, for being here, and we will see you next time. Bye.